Hello. Ah, am I muted? Oh my god. No. Hello. 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 <laughs> Y'all live chat. I accidentally cut off Cheryl mid sentence when I went live because there was a little bit of lag, and then I was like, "Oh no!" And I was already committed, so then I had to wait till now to apologize to her. So oh all I said god. is that we should get we should get on fifteen minutes early just so we could talk. So we'll be oh, on hell the yeah. Yeah, That's no, we <laughs> we have the best time. We're just like chatting and it's like, oh yeah, let's go live. <laughs> Hello everyone. How okay, now all of our lives are streaming on uh, um our channels, but the chat on the screen that you see is a collection of everyone's live chat. So well, if you I don't like I don't think mine actually linked. I don't know. Oh, I, no! I don't think mine did either. I don't think I see it, some. it didn't like, work. I don't Sorry. know. Sorry. Hold on. I, don't know. I, I see. Because for some eight. reason, like, my computer, like, messed up, and I had to, like, restart it from, like, my Apple account, and then, like, it oh. logged me out of everything. Like, so I couldn't even remember pa passwords. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, we're going to download this and give it to the Snark crew so they can put it on their channels because my technical <laughs> difficulty sickness is contagious, apparently. <laughs> so I gave it to Danielle it's okay. Ryan. It's really just... not that It's not that big a deal, honestly. It's no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. just, yeah. All right. Live chat. How are you doing? Do you have a good... I've, I've got some Cheetos Ooh, as a that. proverbial F you to Autumn Calabrese. I'm just kidding. And I've got a soda. So... um. <laughs> I know. I'm I'm going to be good. I'm going to be so good. I know. You're just going to clip this and like, look what she said. She said to F Autumn Calabrese. I don't know. Oh, the, yeah. words, the cursey words are going to be on their best behavior today. So. You're such a bully. Yeah. For you? Stop for you, cursing. I was going to say, are you making a commitment for everyone? Because I think some of them are like, mm -hmm. I don't think oh. I can. I cannot make that promise. I've so. had a very, very interesting couple of days. Me and so, Cheryl yeah. have had some quite Woo! the last 24 ish hours. Yeah. So. Yeah, you know I'm not gonna make is? any. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna make any cursy promises for the other people. I I will use my <laughs> cursy button though. So yeah. So yeah. We're, gonna, you know, just <laughs> use the button and stuff. And and you know, y'all can imagine whatever word you want. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes, Sam. That's amazing. We're oh, so happy for so you. Good. Sam has yeah. been waiting for testing for um surgery and and this yes. is incredible negative for Good. cancer i'm so happy for you and Isn't i'm i just too? the weight it's like okay we'll get these test results back to you in a week and it's like no right not a week i need someone to be late at the lab and tell me right now yeah. I you know what's really crazy is we have Sentara here um and i don't know you all might have them close to you too but Sentara, you get download the app and your results come back before they call you to tell you. So you're like looking at what the results say and Googling what it means on the freaking internet. I did that last year with my, when I got my um, breast exam and my, oh my gosh. Yeah. They were like, okay. don't, don't pay attention to, to the results that come in on the app first. I'm like, what? <laughs> literally mean? it's like telling someone not to think about a pink elephant like you what do you mean i'm not going to refresh this every moment of my life until someone well, and calls it, me and then yeah. all those things that are in red don't don't look at those yet i finally got my post-op report yesterday and what they did in the surgery for my ankle oh, yeah. yeah only one of my ankle tendons was torn but it was torn in five different places Ouch. What did you do? What did what? I and know you weren't my... even doing one of Autumn's workouts. What no. happened? <laughs> it's probably stems from that, you know, chronic. It's yeah, just yeah, chronic yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. I have then... no room to talk because my ankles are trash. So 
so oh he they cleaned out so much arthritis and junk and yeah Ugh. mine are two which mine are genetic so i have yeah. my dad to blame for that he just mm-hmm. got ankle surgery <laughs> last yeah winter. i'm like i'm probably gonna have to do this on my right ankle at some point in time too yeah yeah my, so i have you to thank for my weak uh, my dad gave ankles. me <laughs> my dad gave me bad knees so i have two weeks to see how this cortisone shot goes otherwise right knee it's gonna get Done. replaced <gasps> Ooh, ouch. You're going to be super bionic. We're going to have to make you a new little overlay, the bionic woman. Yes. Okay. The only place, though, that I have actually set off a metal detector was at Disneyland every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> they have them set super Whoa. simple. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, I know it's not like you, you, but my can dad. You pull your pants over to make sure there's nothing on your knee. I'm like, yeah, my dad has to he- go when he, because he's had his knee, knee replaced and he's waiting for a second one. And if he goes metal, he's like, hey, and he's got metal rod and stuff. It's like, I'm going to set it off. He's like, just wand me. He doesn't even go through yep. them anymore. Yep. It yeah. was ridiculous. Wow. Oh. Wow. 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 Um, okay. Let Cat me, had I'm kids in. this morning. Oh, my goodness. Yay. Oh. That's so cool. Oh, kitty. Your husband has to get under the Oh, bed. my gosh. That's adorable. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, Amy made us an incredible PowerPoint again. I'm so excited for it. Uh, and what, Amy, what are we going to be talking about today? Oh, we should introduce a snark crew again. I know we have, I have, I don't know, a, a chunk of new people here. And this is our weekly snark session. Sometimes we do more than one a week. And uh, yes. my favorite stream to do of the week so i'm and, gonna and we're definitely gonna have to work around amber's new schedule i know yeah because right? i have orientation <laughs> on saturdays so Hell i yeah. start my <laughs> real job heck <laughs> yes a first real job in 10 years i'm, I'm gonna have to call your boss and say look snark crew snark <laughs> she needs this thing. day off <laughs> snark crew's her first i'm just kidding <laughs> Oh my god. We're gonna be like we're gonna be snarking at twelve. I mean at, at midnight because yeah, that's at when midnight. Amber can yeah at <laughs> you know, they're like when, when when are you available? And I was like four thirty till like close and they're like, Oh, so like ten thir- ten thirty? I was like, Yeah. I mean <laughs> till the summer, I guess. So till the kids are out for the summer. So <laughs> then I can work that's, days. That's crazy. <sighs> I mean that's wild. Okay, awesome. Uh let me let's start down with Jen, our uh our foundational support member down there so i'm gonna let her go first and then work our way up foundational support that can only stand on one leg at the moment Uh, (laughs) we love the irony (laughs) right uh my name is jen baruso i am a certified personal trainer former beach body coach i was in it from 2013 to 2018 i made it to one star diamond qualifying um and in the entire time I was in it, my net profit was two hundred dollars. Mm. Ouch! You yeah. had a profit. I had two hundred. Yeah, I know. I have... Five years, two hundred dollars. Holy! <laughs> wow. Yeah, isn't that wild? So it didn't yes. fail you then, Jen. You had a profit. Yes, that is the that is the one reason why. Because I asked Anthony, he's like, "Why did you let me stay in it for so long?" He's like, "Because you weren't actually losing money." Oh. I basically covered my costs. That's the only reason he kept quiet for so long. Wow. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And now I am, I left that and now I'm a personal trainer and I work with individuals who most of the people in my group have left Beachbody. So we're, we're reassessing how we view fitness, nutrition, health, and exercise and a relationship with all of that. So, yeah. Yay. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Amber. Uh, hey, y'all. It's me, Amber and I. Um, I, too, was in Beachbody. I was in for five years. I hit Diamond. Um, I was almost two-star when it all crumbled beneath me. And um, now I- I've been a stay-at-home mom now for 10 years, but I'm about to be your newest favorite Target employee I got a job at Target, Target, Um, and uh, really what I've been doing is just uh, 
speaking up and bringing awareness to the unethical business practices and the manipulations that beach body coaches use to recruit people into the company and um, how they thrive off of ty- toxic diet culture and profit from people's vul- vulnerabilities surrounding their bodies. So um, yeah, I like plants and smutty books and um, <laughs> working out on my Peloton and yeah. And snarking. And snarking, and snarking. with us. Yeah. Snarking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Am, uh, I, am I next? All right. And I, I did get a coloring book because I'm needing to find some zen at the current moment. Um, <laughs> so my name's Amy. I was also a Diamond Beach body coach. I have also been in a whole lot of other telemarketing or telemarketing. I don't know it why. Is, I it kind of is like telemarketing. MLM multi-level marketing. Um, I've been in a lot of companies actually. And, um, but some of them I didn't realize until later. So I get a pass on those. Um, and I, my previous life, I was in human resources manager for about 15 years. Now I try to run a household of five children and they're killing me slowly. <laughs> so just one of them, I did get the call today. So actually here, this is the weirdest thing I have said today is, okay, your teacher would rather have you interrupt their, their lesson than throw up in their classroom. So next time, <laughs> go ahead and just interrupt her versus throwing up. And what is your favorite, what's your teacher's favorite drink? Because I'm, I need to send something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was that oh. Declan? Was that Declan? No, Declan stayed home because his tummy already hurt. Was this, Callie? Was not, this was Callie. And because Callie knows that there has to be verification that she puked. And she was like, oh, the whole, the whole class saw it this time. <laughs> she was waiting. She was they, they were waiting because they wanted to make sure they had witnesses to puke. Oh, here's the problem. You know that whole guy who cried wolf thing? It's she does that all. Better. She... She does that. I will get a call at least once a week from the school for something for her. And so I told her finally that if she wasn't bleeding or vomiting with witnesses, she didn't want her to call me. <laughs> and that's she what got you there, today. mom. She got you there, mom. <laughs> okay, there then. Go. Yep. Yep. All right, Cheryl. It's all you. Um. My name is Cheryl Spears. I am the host of the Call Cheryl Hunt podcast. Um, I was a beach body coach for eight years. I achieved emerald rank. I lost a ton of money, never made profit, um, and developed a disordered eating and unhealthy relationship with exercising and body image issues and all of those sorts of things. And I am now going through therapy to work through. Um, I am not a smart ass or a snarky person, but I will definitely call you out on your unethical business practices or misinformation that you do share on the internet. Um, And with grace and love and a God bless you or bless your heart. Um, (laughs) Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Have a blessed day. And our good Southern and our good Um, Southern women. (laughs) But yeah, so I created the podcast. The podcast is for people to come on and share their stories of while they were in MLMs. It just so happens to be there's a lot of people from Beachbody that come from my podcast, but Mm. everybody's welcome. Um, And that's about all for me. I am a mom of two. I enjoy long walks on the beach. That's why I live at the beach. And I do also enjoy working out with Peloton as well. Sweet. So, Oh, I also forgot Pedro Pascal. How could I forget oh, yeah, Pedro yeah, yeah. Pascal? If you come to my page, you will see oh. a lot of Pedro Pascal content. I send Amber lots You're of welcome. Pedro Pascal. Yeah. And currently, <laughs> my obsession is Vanderpump Rules. Oh, yeah. If I am not on here or on the instagram i am it's actually currently paused waiting for me to come back to it so <laughs> love it oh my gosh oh, that's amazing welcome eclectic mama 
Yes. yes. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm a I'm a, a DC. I'm an MLM dropout. I ran into the snark crew on the internet, and they welcomed me into it like a cult. Oh wait, it's not a cult. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I was never in Beachbody. I have been uh, I have been a part of a kind of a, a problematic food and in working out situation with my high my uh, tennis coach growing up, and so I kind of resonate with. A lot of the stuff that goes on that they call out and I also call out, um, you know, unethical business and recruiting practices and health stuff on my page when we're looking at other multi-level marketing companies like Young Living and uh, and the Barry K, which I was in both of those. And we're just doing it. We're uh, I don't know. We're doing lots of stuff now. And uh, I got out of my last multi-level marketing company last year. And now here we are. So um yeah so if you're new here we snark every week so if you are looking for beach body content and you like a lot of different perspectives you can find them on our channels amy and um amber and um cheryl and jen are also on instagram so they also post um lots of things that debunk diet and fitness stuff over there as well and i repost a lot of stuff they tag me in so <laughs> we're um you know we're kind of busy on multiple platforms and um we also uh let me let me see you may have seen the disclaimer at the front of the stream um we have a couple of guide guide rails on our channel we don't do ad hominem attacks we don't um we don't diagnose people we don't talk about, um, I don't know, we don't critique someone's mental health and stuff like that. We, uh, I don't know all the other stuff. You can read it. You can go back to the beginning and pause it and read it. Um, and so the standard procedure is if you do that in our chats, you're going to get timed out. If there's a repeat offense, then you're going to get banned. And I hate to have these grumpy conversations at the beginning of the chat, but... There it is. Um, and I don't know what else. Do you all have anything else to say? Um, let, let's celebrate the one year anniversary of Cheryl getting rid of all her MLM stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo -woo. Okay, wait. So do, you have, do you have any company's MLM stuff in your house now? Me? You yeah. Um, so to be fully transparent, um, I do. I have Rodan and Fields eyebrow stuff and their eyelash serum because i paid a lot of freaking money for it for sure <laughs> so yeah. once that is all gone everything will be completely gone yes yeah. yes but she did dump all of the nutritional crap all of the nutritional crap has been and and i did that because um actually i mean this is probably not in my wheelhouse to say but a lot of the stuff that I took when I was with in any MLM that I was a part of, it didn't make me feel good. Mm. Um, and now all I do, all I take now is pre-workout whenever I work out. And I get that from Amazon and it's 10 times cheaper and tastes just as good, yep. if not better. And yeah. that's me saying that over Energize. And if you're and new here, you might not know how much I love Energize, but refuse to buy it. So, yeah. That says a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and I yeah. know a lot of people will say, you know, oh, I, if you have MLM products, get rid of them. No, like you paid a lot of money yeah. for that. It Use doesn't it. make a difference to anything right now. Yeah. Use it, you know, and then find and it for the right for me at that time, like I came close to that. So a year ago, um, I was a lot, I was very angry at that point in time. Mm -hmm. um, and I realized that for me, I had to get rid of that stuff, especially the nutritional part, because I would have fallen right back into another MLM. Yep. Um, yep. So I, but when, and I mean, with the Rodan and Fields, uh, I'm not, I know that there's other stuff that's not an MLM that I could use, but I spent like $300 on this stuff. And yeah, so, use I, no, <laughs> use it till it's gone. Like, use it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, Unless yeah. you have some sort of reaction to it, just use yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, and yeah. it's not, I, I don't use their face wash and stuff because that stuff is not good for your skin. Yeah. yeah I actually, absolutely. I sold what I had left of Shakeology and mm -hmm. Energize. I sold it. Yeah, I should have sold I stuff, threw away but... the expired stuff, but yeah. I sold yeah. stuff that was not expired. So that's there the was thing. A lot like, of expired stuff. You know, just like Amy said, I mean, it's completely up to you with what you do and how you yeah. need to move on and heal. You know, um, for me, I just needed to dump it out and physically throw it. You saw uh, on that video, I show you throwing it in the trash can outside because I. I mean, as weird as it sounds, like I was so obsessed with some of those products that I might have went into the trash can and got it, especially yeah. the stuff that was still in packets. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I still yeah. have, I have Pampered Chef stuff. I love Pampered Chef stuff, but I won't buy it anymore. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to. And get can we, it. can you, can somebody please tell people why? Because I keep seeing people on my newsfeed talk about if you. If, like if you don't support MLMs, it, it, it's hurting your friend's business. Like you're not supporting your friend's small business. Mm. Can we know? Can somebody art, like articulately say why? You're encouraging them to continue to stay in longer because yeah. they think that mm -hmm. it that they're making money. And here's the thing: when anybody purchases anything from a multi-level marketing company, the corporation makes money every time a brand partner buys, an independent yeah. contractor buys because the profit is worked in so that they win every time that someone makes any purchase from their company. Now, is that individual going to be able to make a living from selling that product? People at the top are, sure. People at the bottom are in this constant state of churn and, they, and more often than not, more often than not, they lose. And so someone... A friend buying from them gives that hope that they're going to be able to find other people to buy from them, too. It is, in my opinion, and you don't have to agree with this. This is me. Yeah. I think it's unethical because an upline gets paid out whenever the mm -hmm. downline makes yep. a purchase from the company. Yep. They have no... They have no skin in the game for them to have to wait to get paid because their downline has to figure out how to sell it. No, every time they can talk one of their downline into buying, they win. And so then yeah. their downline mm -hmm. is in the position to flounder by themselves until they have lost so much money that they're going to get out. And yeah. so you can think, oh, I'm going to buy it from them so they will lose less money, but... It keeps them in longer. Yeah, That's it, my it position. just keeps encouraging like the sunk cost fallacy. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yes, I'd rather give them the money that I would have spent on the product. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. If, they're, if they're needing it that badly, and you know, and I think that's where you also share like income disclosures and share some of those things to show them the reason. Like, I think. Sorry. You're totally fine. I think presenting a reason to them with fact, like yeah. as our, as our friend Aaron says, and it's on this presentation, Aaron B's facts are not attacks, right? Like I'm not attacking you. I'm, but here are the facts mm -hmm. and, the, and the fact is you're not going to make money. And I don't want to contribute to that heartache because I know how hard it's been for me. Yep. Yeah. So Absolutely. Yeah. It's tough. And we're gonna we're not gonna say it's gonna be an easy decision <laughs> for you to tell your best friend I'm not buying your, your multi-level marketing product. Like there's there may be some really tumultuous things that happen because of of emotions being high and someone who thinks that MLM is the way or thinks that MLM is their ticket out of their big financial hole that they're in may get very upset that you're saying, hey. I don't agree with this business model. I still love you, but I can't buy from you. But but yeah. it, I can send you money for this. That but it's just like it's very twisty, and that's how these high control groups, these commercial cults, um, they they continue to keep people in because it really it's twisty. It's twisty. Um, in in almost every single one that that I've reacted to, there's the it's very, it's, it's hard. And it, I'm, we're not saying it's going to be easy to tell your friend, 
hey, I'm not going to buy from you. It's not easy. It's a hard conversation to have for sure. You know what I may end up doing? Maybe I'll do this is um, (laughs) I have a ton of MLM products still in my house is partly because of all of them that I've been through. But just as we've been talking, I've been thinking about the various people that I have bought things from. And I can only think of one that is still in mm. her Emma. No, two. There's two. There's yeah, two that I one. Of that is still everyone else that I have purchased any of those okay, things I for. Two. They they're gone. I have one friend that's still in Mary Kay. And I have one friend that's still in Sensi. Mm. And oh. neither of them really do much with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the whole, that's the whole thing. And that we're not being haters. We're not, we're just trying to be realistic and get education out. And at the end of the day, I think that that is more valuable than any, any product we could purchase from them. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And if, if, if replay crew, if you have different thoughts, definitely let us know in the comment section before we go ahead and start the presentation uh, live chat, how's the audio? Does is anybody echoing? Do is anyone need to be turned up? Let us know now so we can fix it before we before we head into the reaction. So we're going to be reacting to Petra Kolber. Is it mm-hmm. Kolber? Yeah, Kolber. K O L B E R, yeah. and it Kolber. is Autumn Calabrese too, as well. Aren't we doing both? Big yeah. hitters, no. Our so- bestie. So, and, and let me find, so this was how my week would always go when I was in Beachbody. The national wake up call was on Monday mornings. And so of course I I would, um, walk the entire time that that national wake up call was on. I would go for a walk outside, um, which didn't, that didn't count as movement. That was just listening to the call. So I would get an hour walk in while listening to it and, you would just feel all of the like, yes, I can do this. It's like the weekly indoctrination. I would listen okay. Monday driving my hour to work every, yep. every Monday. Yep. Which I think um, wasn't T- Tanya was on this week's wake up call. Yeah, she was. Yeah. yeah. She, she recorded it because she was in, in <laughs> for the, the success so, club show. Well, and, and I really thought, kind of thought about everything when, so I did, um, I did a video on Haley's live Mm -hmm. that or her national wake up call where she told you like, "Eh, it's not entirely true. (laughs) But that was was too much. Too much. Are you kidding me? Like, no, if something is not entirely true, true. then (laughs) it's not true. Right. It's not a little. So, (laughs) so I was like, Oh man, we need to just start talking about some of these national wake up calls more. (laughs) And so I went to listen to this week and I was like, are you kidding me right now? I have to listen to Autumn, Petra, and Tanya in like one? It's like that's it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. This is the whole wake up call. No, 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 ma'am. It's oh, just no, cut ma'am. up. Yep. Yeah. We had to cut we had to cut that up. We wouldn't do that to anybody. Um <laughs> so we, <laughs> we're gonna do it in we're gonna do it in little spurts. So we have um Autumn and then um Petra. Uh Petra. Yep. So, and for some reason, my computer has gone on strike. So DC has the Petra one. It's not going to be in the little presentation thing. Yeah. My computer might go on strike because I'm now at 5% battery life. Uh Uh-oh. Plug in. Plug your charger in. Plugged in. I don't know what the problem is. It's not connecting. It's (laughs) It's just, it's. Is your outlet, did it flip the breaker? Like, is it getting any power to the outlet it's plugged into? Like, is it. I know that sometimes if I have too many things plugged into my computer, it's like I cannot fill the battery as fast as you are using it. Oh my gosh! So, yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's start. Um, five. Maybe we should be on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Is that good? Is it good on? Yep. Okay. Okay. Happiness habits for Huns. I love the word alliteration there. Yes, yes. that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes, because that's what they're all about now. Uh huh. It's all about happiness. Which is interesting. Um, and so, right? Um, <laughs> so some of this you're already going to see. Uh, I think I put something in there about 
uh, about what the national wake up call is or something. So you may want to just kind of go through it. Trigger warning, diet talk, toxic positivity, all the cringe and autumn calabrese. (laughs) We say autumn calabrese because it's a wild card when we put her on screen because there's body shaming, fat phobia, there's wild ideas about food. So if you are sensitive at all, regarding diet talk or food or talks around body or or eating this is not the stream for you as much as we love you yep. in a non-culty way mm-hmm. uh, yep hop Protect out now your mental health space. absolutely yep yep absolutely yep all right um yeah dc you forgot my channel oh so i got distracted <laughs> I Thanks think I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't <laughs> sure if it's Jen or Gen B, so I was gonna go look at Nightbot real quick because these, uh, these are all like me manually putting them in there. Nightbot. I think let's let's try Jen. Jen. Let's try Jen. Yeah, <laughs> we can put. There's quite a few other creators yeah. in the chat right now. So okay, I'm gonna put Daisy, uh, Daisy, yeah, Daisy, Clown Town, Clown Town Karina. Absolutely. Y'all are awesome. So. Yep. Uh, and the, these are all okay. linked in my chat, but um, Daisy's in there. Um, what? Karina. Where's Jen? Did Jen go? Oh, Heather T. Oh. Yeah, there's some really, where's really good Jen? ones. Where's Jen? Hold on. They don't like me. <laughs> Nightbot's being a brat. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, uh, Nightbot. I know. Yeah. Show 100. I know I have, Jen. Yeah, so I took one for the team and watched the um, sample workout for oh yeah <laughs> the newest version Oops. of 21 day fix Mm-mm. where my times she did not stop talking the entire time imagine that that's what i saw in the the bod members group like everyone was complaining that she would not just shut up like she, she would not the <laughs> but didn't she day. have a playlist doesn't she have a playlist for music no in the sample workout there's no music hmm they they won't they won't um put the money up for no. music royalties. So like when they and, when they when you do a workout, like the music yep. won't stay because they don't have the rights to to keep the music. You get it one. You time. get it one time what? during the live. Like if it's a live class, you get it once, and then yep. it's uh yeah they and then uh, even some of their programs yeah like they had to replace all of the size music on for Shanti's size which was super interesting because all of those routines were choreographed specifically to the music yeah, yep. uh-huh. and like even to the words like it was the message of the mm-hmm. song was the dance yep they had to replace all of those because they don't they won't there pay for is. this Nightbot's in timeout <laughs> now so <laughs> Jen's yeah. gonna get her own spot on the stream real quick go sub to Jen you're gonna hear, you're gonna I hear am, now that Arm I'm does. in the coming out of surgery recovery phase i've actually started planning more content so sweet i will be pushing more out as i start feeling feeling better but yeah she wouldn't yeah. she didn't stop talking um some of the moves were not bad some of them are like what the fuck sorry what the frick mm-hmm. um yeah and her squat depth sucks yeah Just gonna mm. say. yep if you've we're been watching my it. stories i did share that um, but yep. I am looking forward to Brianna Jewel attempt. <laughs> it's gonna be so fun to watch. Is she gonna do it? Is She's she gonna, gonna do it? it. I told her. I said, if I didn't have a messed up ankle, I would do it with you. Yeah, because I, I messaged her. I was like, please do this. <laughs> I was like, please do it. <laughs> She's going to love it. That's awesome. All right, next slide. Okay. Welcome to your weekly indoctrination call, Beach Bodies National Wake Up Call. And so now I didn't. I didn't include this, but one of the things that they do in the call is they completely love bomb, right? They do all of their promotions. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I call that out is because when I was in, they didn't even read the diamonds names because there were so many people going diamond Mm -hmm. every single week that it would have taken too long for the call. Mm -hmm. Now they (laughs) will call out everybody because I think they had maybe like 10 diamonds. That's it. Uh, one one star, one two star, and one maybe three star. Wow. wow. That's it. Wow. That's a big it, difference. Well, how many it, was it? It used to take them 15, like 10? 20 minutes to go through all of the names. 
Oh, wow. Which, yep. Which speaking of like the decline in coaches, I forgot to tell you all this earlier, but um, Danielle Natoni, who started out with over like 16,000 coaches in her downline now is down to under 9,000 in her oh, downline. Yikes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Holy and that's holy. why some of these old, and like, she's been in it forever. Yeah. And the old timers are now coming back yep. and they're now shilling mm -hmm. because they're, they're losing, losing so many and fast. Losing yep. them fast. Lindsay Matway just did a call that we that I looked that while I was playing my game. It's so twisty what she and how one, how good of a salesperson she is. Two, that that good. she even reared her head to to do this call mm -hmm. on um for brand part or not brand partners for coaches. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, what is going on? Everyone, apparently, they're just bleeding. They're bleeding yep. um, reps. So, yeah. Yep. And apparently, the talk in, the, in Mexico currently, like with the, the Success Club trip, they're all talking about other opportunities. Yeah, yep. According to my sources, uh, people are not happy. The coaches are not happy, and they are looking for other side hustles. Who? I bet they're going to yeah. go to Q Sciences. I bet they're going to go to Q Sciences. I will just say. Well, so the year that I went, I didn't know it at that time, but my like eight star diamond upline was in the process of leaving for prove it. And nobody knew, what's um, the, but there were quite a few what's that the were. What's MLM that's, um, what's his name? Kim just went to, they started. Oh, Kim Carver. Yeah. No, I think he went to Shackley. That's maybe Shackley. Ooh. Because we know if you a guys bunch remember, of, he, I actually liked him. Mm. I met him. Well, so, I've seen a couple of them like sharing Modair products too. So that yeah. a mm -hmm. lot of them may move to Modair. You know, you, Matt, I've you, seen a lot. It, you know that Matt's Justin stuff. Prince is going to be all over those top leaders. Oh, them. he is. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, there was a yeah. there was a lawsuit I was reading about a young living rep and his little booklet was brought up his little yeah. how to move companies without getting sued by your former company he has a little special map outline yeah. for people to come yeah. over without you know getting legally yep. slapped so it's interesting because the it was Michael Neiman Jeff Hill yep. was the other like top guy Jeff went to Shackley. Yep. And then Kim and Carver then followed went to him. Shackley. Yep. So like this and Michael Neiman came from Herbalife. Wow. So it's you know, Shackley is another uh nutrition MLM. It's been around for and forever. Been around for, yep. Yeah, it's been around forever. We yeah, have a guest. Hi. We have a guest hi. panelist. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she came to get a drink of my water oh <laughs> it's always better out of you know your mom's out cup, of mom's so. cup yeah yep. and now my straw is destroyed so i'm gonna have to get a new cup <laughs> oh no shackley i was gonna yeah. say i heard target has some cute ones amber i know just listen jake <laughs> said, jake said just because you get a discount doesn't mean you need to use it <laughs> Don't I tell just, me what to do with my paycheck, sir. Yeah, do not. Spent $75 <laughs> there for just face stuff. Like, um, Shackley is vitamins and cleaning products. The best combo. Okay. The best combo you could come up with, you know? That is an odd combo. <laughs> they call it, they're a That's wellness so company. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, and I'm sorry for this, but her face uh -oh. in that screen. Oh Lord! Please tell me. Gosh. I don't have sound. I don't have sound. Washed out. Ah, hold on. Is it? Is it the video? Because if it's the video, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I have the video. I have the whole video downloaded. Let me just. Um... I was trying to make a, a thing to my husband on why I needed a new machine, and he's like, <laughs> "If you continue to break things, you're not gonna get nice things anymore." <laughs> <laughs> um, I break things. Hmm. So if you're new to the snark and sip and snark live, um, technical difficulties happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. But why is it happening? That's so weird. Okay. I and that's interesting because on mine, on mine, on the presentation, it does have sound. Okay. Let me. Do you need to change your, your road or anything? No, I don't even hear it on my headset. I don't hear it. 
Like I'm yeah, in the I'm in I'm in the uh I was in Canva, so hold on one second. Um I don't even know. Okay, we're gonna just try it over here. Do you like blueberry today? Um edit. Let me see if I can hear it on the slide. Hold on. If I can hear it here, then I know what I can do. Remind me later. Um, nope, I don't hear it on this either inside of Canva. Oh I have the, I have the, hold on. We'll just, let me see. Okay. This is your. Keyshawn, Keyshawn is like crazy energy. She is so good at marketing. Like she is a fantastic spokesperson. Yeah. Um, I would love to see her go and do something else, but yeah. she's been with Beachbody for forever. A long time. She started yep. in customer yeah, she, service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's great. I mean, she's she's yeah. great. Okay, here we go. It is part of her experience. All right. Yay. Um, okay, so you're going to want to. Um, oh, not me. All right. And I need to fast forward it, right? Yeah, you're going to want to fast forward it to right let me see there. Get the autumn. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, <sighs> her lighting is autumn. horrible. Yeah. And autumn's does start. Um, they started with autumn's because it's a recorded. Okay. They're all recorded okay. because of the, the, the trip. Mexico let me trip. See. An incredible coach yeah. speaker. You're going to hear from Tanya the okay, machine. Sorry. An incredible coach speaker. An incredible sorry. coach speaker. You're going to hear. All right, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just, um, can I maximize? No. Oh, I didn't know I could do Harper, that. Nope. Harper, that sounds adorable. My dog is, he's trying to reacclimate after we had him in boarding all week last week. And I think he got a little more attention than he's getting here. And he's upset about that whole process. So. <laughs> Sam, I don't think she's washed out. I just think she, well, Yes and no, but the lighting she chose was not the like. I'm glad my ring light has different lighting feed settings on it. Yeah, make Utilize it warm. Yep. them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. So I'm just I'm playing her on mute until she gets to Autumn's part because I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just technical difficulties. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here, here we, go. we go. Unmute. You guys, happy Monday. I am so excited to be on here on the National Wake Up Call with you guys. We are just a few days away from the launch of the 21 Day Fix Superblock. Obviously, yes, I am in Mexico, so we pre-recorded this for you, but I just wanted to- Sorry, her audio is a little off. Sorry about that. To make sure that it is. being days away from the Superblock, I got a chance to come on and talk to everybody and make sure that you are all as excited about it as I am. Hopefully you've checked out the sample workout because that is up. It has been up for a couple of days. That's gonna give you a really good feel of what some of the new moves are, how the program feels with the new playlists, um, the motivation <sighs> and the mindset that I'm bringing to the program. Obviously we've got- I thought Petra was bringing the mindset to the program. Uh, I thought Petra got no, the credit Autumn for that. Again, she no, did Autumn not stop talking so during much. the sample. The moves, some are okay. Some were horrible. And again, there was no music in the sample workout. So how can she say it'll give you an idea of the playlist? Well, and the other thing is, like, <laughs> oh, my Lord. to me, you need to acknowledge the fact that you only get the playlist one time. Yeah. And they never like, say that. Uh, that would be the biggest, no. uh, uh, the biggest like, oh, I'm not going to stay with Beachbody or a body because I only get good songs one time. So like you're screwed. You're exactly. You're Amber. stuck. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Well, and especially if you've programmed oh. to that music. Yep. I don't, it's just bizarre. It's bizarre that we have coaches who say that they're so innovative and have the first to do any of this and yet they still don't have workouts that you can actually have real music in the background for the entirety of the program yep. like it, any anytime you push play you have music playing instead of listening to the trainer talk the entire 30 to 60 minutes of your workout and like well, and you can't she turn her off. You, you can't you turn the volume she, down. She never oh. once. Do you hear my kids making me a shake? Um, 
she never once went to Kat or Donald to give them form fits because mm. their form was off too. Yeah, not wow. once did she walk back to check on them. But they they form check the the podcast, Jen. What no, about she just? No, the she just recognized the podcast in the sample workout. She didn't form check. But nobody anyone. other, but n- nobody has that technology to form check you at home. Isn't that what, um, God, Julie Vorhead Julie really? said? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nobody has that technology. At, nobody. You know, for live the technology classes. of someone going and looking at a Zoom screen and telling you what to do that you could like fix your form or like oh my gosh Jen does anyone ever send you like a recording of how they're lifting that you can tweak something or my no? clients do oh my god shocking <laughs> it's so innovative so even innovative. Cheryl <laughs> sent me video of her doing squats and I'm like fix this <laughs> they back no, on Peloton. They back on Peloton all the time, but Peloton actually has live people right. come yeah, in. Yeah, they have live people in the class. Also, if I'm when I'm taking a ride at home and I like a song, then I can like it during the ride and it will go to my Spotify. Oh yeah. wow. Mm-hmm. Up. Are you yeah. that's innovative? Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah. yeah. It will just show up in my liked songs on my Spotify liked playlist. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And body, if you look at a song too long, you're going to lose it. You're never going to be able to listen to it again. So oh. that's in my opinion, by the way, that's too much snark yeah. for no, the legal department. No, Harper, so. <laughs> that is her, that is her living room in her Miami house. Yeah. Her Miami. That yeah. Is not her a green song. screen. Yeah. Uh, so just so yeah. happens Jen's in the same room on the, the <laughs> zoom background here. So Similar. Oh, I'm just we're just we're just playing around. It's not oh around. goodness. Cat and Donald there and the podcast. So if your perspectives are maybe a little bit cautious about it or think that oh they've already done 21 day fix and fix real time, so maybe they don't want to do the super block, I definitely recommend that they check out that sample workout and just get a feel for how different yet same it is right so it's still going to have that same format that they love with the minute long intervals the 30 second breaks the workouts only being 30 minutes having a modifier so that anybody can do it at any fitness level because the whole point is to push to whatever your max look if you don't know how jealous autumn calabrese is of Lacey getting attention with the beginner or whatever program all of her comments here would probably sound like, oh my gosh, that sounds so incredible. Look how look how inclusive you're being to all levels of fitness people. And in if you've watched her face, if you watched her body language, if you watched the words that she's actually said when Lacey was brought on stage or even on her own private Instagram account, you don't know <laughs> you don't know the the history of how against Autumn is that someone else is taking the spotlight. That someone else yep. is creating something that beginners are going to want to do. It's twistier than you think. And it that's just my opinion. Yeah. Oh. Absolutely. Is right. And wherever you're at for that day, it might not, might not even be like your full max potential, right? If you have a day where you're tired or whatever that might be, you push to where you can for that day. But it's going to give them that feeling of comfort of like, this is familiar. But then it's also going to give them that feeling of brand new with all the new moves with the playlists um with me getting to cue the podcast correct the podcast's form i really if you guys have been listening at all or following me on social media or even some of the coaches that were in the podcast you've probably heard them mention quite a bit that i have really leveled up the mindset part in this program and you guys that's because of my own personal journey that's something i've been leveling up for myself And when I do those things and I find them really working for me and I'm having those aha moments and those shifts that make doing everything just that much easier mentally, I want to share that with you guys because I've... You know what? You know what makes something mentally easier for me? Having good music to work out to. Oh, wait. Yeah. Don't give a a flippity flop about that. (laughs) So fix your mindset. When when I work with clients one-on-one, Or even like when I do, I do small group every once in a while, no more than four. Um, We're focused on the exercises and how they're moving and not their mindset. They're paying me to train them at that time. The mindset stuff comes after the workouts. 
you're paying me for an hour to work out, 45 minutes to work out, 30 minutes to work out. We're going to focus <coughs> on that. Do you, do you, and um, I don't buy a lot. Do you buy rate or how do you say it? Berate your people. No, berate. Do you berate your people? Nope. Um, if they're not doing your new petition plan, do you consistently tell them that they should be doing portion fix or the ultimate portion fix or four week gut protocol in order for them to see the total totality of their results to actually get results? No, because yeah. I am not a registered dietitian and I am not allowed to give meal plans to my oh. people. That's interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. So much, so much. It's so interesting. I've said this before that getting strong, getting fit, getting healthy, that doesn't start in the gym and it doesn't even start in the kitchen. It all starts in our minds. It all starts with our mindset. It all starts with our decisions. <sighs> the only thing keeping you from doing a workout mm -hmm. is your mindset is your choice not to. The only thing keeping you from eating healthy or the fact that is Jen had your mind and whether or not you. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Like, no, there are other things that can keep you from a workout. <laughs> it's not just my mindset. There yeah. I'm just saying. Lot. But I don't even well, think that she believes that anything should keep her from a workout because she was the one going against her doctor's instruction not to work out after her breast augmentation. She was the one yep. that was saying, oh, I'm going to be walking two, three, however many miles it was when yep. they were like, don't sweat. What do you mean you're not going to sweat when you're walking outside for over, I mean, over several miles? Like, and what example, and I, I, I say this like this, the influence she has to, to uh, manipulate the people who like her is going to tell someone else to do that too like oh really strong people start working out right after surgery no she is lucky that she had no complications or she's sharing that she had no complications with her you know walking situation that she did we don't know if she had any negative stuff happen so um, and the other thing is it's reinforcing that belief that i've expressed and that cheryl has expressed that walking doesn't yeah. count walking is not an yep. exercise yep. that doesn't count as movement so she's, tr she's reinforcing that mindset. So I would walk for like five miles and it didn't count. Wow. It didn't. I'm, I'm, I've said this before and I'm going to say this again. Social determinants of health mm -hmm. matter. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I texted my teenager on his way home from school. I'm like, can you please make me a smoothie when you get <laughs> so he just made well, okay, himself wait, one can too about, can we talk about harper's comment real quick yeah. yeah i will say as well like i definitely don't eat enough vegetables and when i did 21 day fix yeah i did eat more vegetables and i did with um i didn't do to be mindset but i know that that also increases your veggie consumption but the problem the problem for me was that if I was still hungry at the end of the day, I, you're supposed to eat vegetables first. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're supposed to eat more vegetables and that's not going to satiate you. Nope. And so what would happen is I would be eating an insane amount of vegetables. And now I have like a block yeah. where I don't want to eat vegetables right. because that was like my go-to. And, and it, um, that was what I was allowed. And honestly, it's not very controversial because most of Americans do not eat the recommended yeah. daily it, allowance of fruits and vegetables. It's a, and, it's yeah. a fact. Um, but to play, to place a limited amount of, you can only have six green containers in a day. Like there's yeah. absolutely zero reason to put a limit on fruits and vegetables. Because what happens you want. What happens when you do that, right? Vegetables can be on your sandwich. Vegetables can, you can get vegetables from, from a pasta sauce. Salsa. A salsa. <laughs> the problem with a 21. Is a fruit. The, the problem with 21 day fix, Harper, like for me, like how it's screwed me up is if my vegetables are not in a container, I don't believe that I can count those. Yep. I did the same thing. So that I the same thing. it's, it's true. You know, we don't eat enough vegetables and just like Jen said, but it's the mental gymnastics yep. 
that it causes you to it have messes, messes you up. I'm completely screwed up when it comes to eating vegetables now. And, and I would say like watching Brianna's video, that's fantastic mm-hmm. to be like, you know what? I really do need to increase my veggies. Yeah. It, it's the messaging that also falls in with those yeah. that that's what yeah. messed me up. It wasn't the veggies themselves. It was the, the messaging that came with those veggies. Mm-hmm. And so getting it from Brianna, I don't think that's controversial. And no. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. And, and I'm going to say this for anybody watching that is thinking that you or, or wanting to start including more vegetables into your diet, start small. Yeah. Add a slice of tomato to a sandwich. Have some carrots and hummus. You can have more than 10 baby carrots. You will be okay. Have some celery. Oh, here's just here's start one of my mini Small. Don't think you need to add something to every single meal or five times a day eat fruits and vegetables. Start with one meal. Start with one vegetable. Start small and then build from there. Yeah. That's great. And just to read this out loud, um, Jessica Anti Lushy said saying walking is an exercise. Enable it. Yes. And and it's important like that there's space here on our channel to talk about that stuff. We talk about mm-hmm. social determinants of health here. We talk about the exclusion in the medical system and the um, prejudice there as well. It is sometimes if you've never been open to having those conversations or learning about it, it may be uncomfortable for you. Yes. That doesn't mean that we are going to stop talking about it. We're open to having conversations in the comments. Just remember to be civil and respectful because yes. That's the, at least on my channel, you got to bring some of that to the table if you're going to, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and I, I just, she, she forgets that not everybody is in the same place that she is. Even when, for me, I'm, it's a, I don't know how, how anyone else felt, but talking about the modifier as the person who is not healthy or not in shape, or you're not able to do what I am. So you follow the modifier. And it made me feel less than yep. it made me feel like I like, Oh crap, this isn't okay. So I, it's not okay. I don't here. use I have- modification in my language when I'm working with people. It's variations. Mm, love that. And levels. And I would say options. And options. You have options. Let's look at options. Yep. Let's look at variations. Yep. Let's look at different things that you can do. They're still going to so, do the same thing. Which one is yep. too easy for you? Which one challenges you? Which one is too hard? That one's too hard. Do the one yep. that challenges you. On the days you're not yep. feeling it, do the easier one. There is always an yep. option. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And if you're just joining us, we are sipping and snarking, um, whatever that is for you. Grab a drink, drag us, uh, gra- grab a snack. <laughs> we are looking at the national wake up call because of how motivational it is to people who are still in body, formerly Beach Body, but we are never going to drop that name because oh. there's so much SEO attached to that and so much bad press attached to it that. You know, look it up and for yourself. And considering body still still stands for Beach Body On Demand Interactive, so yes, it's, still it's in just the wild. Name. Absolutely, we're listening to Autumn Calabrese, who is a super trainer in in body, and she is <laughs> in super trainer with no certifications. Oh wait, whoops. Um, she is telling us how to um that she's a mindset person now. That there's all this all the stuff associated with her programs and be excited and blah blah blah. So. And you I, I want to say this, listening to her during the sample workout, she's saying the same stuff she said eight years ago. Mm. There was nothing wow. new. Wow. 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 Nothing wow. New. Mm-hmm. Same stuff. In, the- yeah. Same stuff. Yeah. Healthy food or what you think about the healthy food. Oh, it's going to taste bad. It doesn't have to taste bad or, oh, it's going to be boring or, oh, I'm going to starve. Right? Like that's all a mindset. So we're really focusing on that mindset shift as well. I want you guys to keep that in mind. Um, So a couple things, just in case you haven't heard, obviously there's five workouts a week with two rest days. That happens for three weeks. I'm not progressing the workouts this time, right? So in real time, each week the workouts progressed, but I kept this more similar to the original 21 day fix where you get your five workouts and those are the workouts that you're doing each week. That means you're only going to do each workout three times you have room to learn and to grow and to get stronger 
each time you do those, right? We don't always have to progress the moves. That's one way <laughs> of <laughs> writing workouts. That's amazing. Sorry. Wait, what? Do I need to rewind it? Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Hi, this is friend. why she needs to go get a certification. Um, you You're going to do so many games. <laughs> the way I program, people do the same workouts four or five, six weeks in a row. Yep. I did six. Right? That you can still progress doing the same workouts by adding weight, adding reps, changing the tempo. You don't have to change the exercises every week. Mm. Autumn, that's still progression. Yeah. It's called progressive overload. And the, the dangerous thing <laughs> is, if you don't know this stuff, you don't have a Gen B in your life, or if you don't have a Brianna Jewel, or if you don't have a certified, is mm -hmm. it just certified? Certified, certified person. personal trainer. <laughs> I know. I was like, I fixed it in my head, but I was like, is it licensed? I'm like, no, it's not licensed. Certified personal trainer. What she's saying may sound shiny and right. And it is not correct. So it's just, it's twisty. It is <sighs> twisty. Amazing and beneficial. But another way is to keep it the same and give you those opportunities to get more comfortable with the movements and to sink lower into them, lift a little bit heavier, go a little faster, or maybe it's go a little bit slower, right? If you pick up heavier weights, um, maybe to come out of a modification if you've been using the modification. So three weeks, five workouts each week, we've got total body cardio, upper fix, lower fix, cardio. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yep. What does total body cardio mean? Like, aren't isn't it just about your heart rate that would like? Isn't that for cardio or no? It's unnecessary yeah. moves for her to add to her cardio workouts. Well, yeah, she, and she's gonna explain the difference because you have total body and cardio, cardio fits. and then you have cardio. total body cardio. Because she uses weights. Weights. Yeah. Oh, how do you define cardio yeah. though? Like, I mean, I don't. Jen, it's, it's for it's in order to increase your heart rate. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's it, right? We, yeah. All of them do. All of them yeah. have an aspect of cardio. Even like all lifting weights at the gym when you're doing like a machine exercise, if you are keeping your heart rate up, would that count at all or no? No. no. Okay. No, Why no, not? No. Because your focus, if you're using machines, like what do you mean an elliptical treadmill? No, I'm just saying like if you machines. were if you were trying to keep your heart rate in a certain range and you were I don't know. I just don't know. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> okay. So so yeah, there's like you have your different heart rate ranges that people try and hit your okay. level two, level three, level one. It's it's called heart rate variable training. Okay. That's cardio. Okay. Using weights when you're doing sets, like three sets of twelve. That is strength training. There is some aspect of cardiovascular training with strength training because you okay. are going to increase your heart rate, okay. but it's not cardio. Gotcha. So not I cardio. have another, I have a question in response to the clown towns um, uh, message. Okay. She said, Holly Hillier has been lifting five to 10 pound weights in all six years of beach body. Um, so I did not lift anything <laughs> more than 10 pounds while I was with Beachbody. Can you explain why that would be, Jen? Um, because the goal of their programs isn't actually strength. It's lose weight. Okay. And they're scared mm -hmm. to lift heavier. Well, and she's talking about progression, but here's, here's the problem. You're going to have, they're going to go from Lacey's beginners only program then they're going to go do 21 day fix. Then they may go into a bar. One. I think the it's 225 is Shanti's is next. Yeah. Is Shanti's yeah. next. So, I mean, they're, they're doing these programs that aren't really consistently using the same things to get that progressive overload to get that. Okay. Like, can I plug something? I hate doing this. <laughs> can I, can I plug something? Yeah. yeah. So if, oh, if, you, if you go to my Instagram, there's a link in my bio for a introduction to strength training ebook. It's $25 and you get a free month inside the anchor fit community. Our next awesome. workout calendar starts next Monday. Just throwing it out there. Awesome. That is fantastic. 
That's a great deal. You get an ebook and you get a fir- your first month in there. I'm going to learn for Instagram right now. And our guest speaker next month is my friend, Coach Julie Schiller. Um, she is going to come in and talk to us about the importance of recovery and sleep. Awesome. So if you are just cool. listening to this, um, Jen's Instagram account is Jen, J E N dot B O R R U S O. The link is in my live chat, but I've also put it on the screen if y'all want to go follow and find that. So, and I always say if you do buy that and you do follow the link to join the Anchor Fit community, I still keep bugging the app that I use to take out the option to put in the weight because um, it's there. I just tell people to put their favorite number because mm-hmm. I don't care. Sweet. Put your favorite number. That's awesome. Sweet. Yo. So the difference between cardio and total body cardio is total body cardio has weights and cardio does not. And then we've got dirty 30. And then don't forget about the up week, you guys. And don't skip out on up week. It is not meant where that's just a week that you go do whatever. You still have- what? <laughs> explain what? You want to know what dirty 30 is? Oh, what is it? I don't know. Oh, dirty 30. Honestly, that was my favorite. It was my favorite too. <laughs> that one was my favorite. <laughs> All right, Amber, tell us what you did on Dirty 30. What is it, though? Uh, Dirty 30, it was 30 different moves, right? 30 different oh, moves. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. In the 30 minutes. Um, yep. And it was like, it was that one. Was it 40 on and 20 off or something? Something like that. Yeah. And it, it wasn't was a mix, minute. It was like a mix of cardio and, and straight. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. yeah. Mm-hmm. yep. Because, Sam, if they did that, it wouldn't be autumn. Because how would they get you to continue to pay? And they wouldn't be able to get you to continue to pay. They have to say that they have a new innovative program, which means they've just rebranded something else. Yep. Because if they actually taught you foundational things about fitness, you would need to you not need you may not need beach body in the future. Nope. Oh my gosh, if they actually taught you like what you needed to do like with your with your weights at home, that you may not need to like I, I mean you that. would Yeah, like it's just it, it they they do all this stuff to make it seem like magic and woo woo that you can't do without beach yeah. body and you can, I think. So so here's why because in reality, the most effective exercises and most effective strength training is freaking boring. Mm. Yeah. That's why it's boring. You're going to get the most results from the boring stuff. If yeah. you are bored, good. You should be listening to music. Music turn, is the turn key. Up, turn up the music. Or listen a podcast. To a podcast. Whatever. Yep. Just and play. someone, it's, it's the same basic movement patterns repeated over time. Wow. Wow. But, Which is antithetical to. Beach bodies, yep. whole deal that they have. You well, know, and, and we can even and again, say the there's, same. There's variations and different things you can change up, but essentially yeah. you're practicing the same movement patterns over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. I mean, and if you think about it, like people will probably be like, you know, if there's somebody here that's watching us that, you know, is beach body, they would be like, well, Peloton does the same thing. You know, I get it, right? Like, they they do it's it's a marketing thing it's it's a way for them to keep you coming back to their platform because if you don't then you're not going they're not going to make any money but i have the the peloton app and i love it yeah exactly and the reason the difference between the two workout programs right or the two platforms is when you're working out with peloton um if, if that's the type of thing you need right you're working out with peloton then you they do basic movements it's not weird shit yeah what is it peloton right no yeah can you see that i just got really excited somebody got indicted finally (gasps) oh shit oh my god sorry Sorry, yeah I just got really excited i just got really excited sorry everybody it's finally happening (laughs) <laughs> Kate, so, I feel you on the ankle thing. It's going to be a long, but Jen too process like, with the, me. <laughs> I, I would suggest that, and this is something that I should have done last year, because if you're like me and you struggle with you know any type of movement or exercise or anything coming out of Beachbody, 
I would suggest going to somebody like Jen because she does meet you where you're at, you know, and helps you not feel like shit because you missed a day. Jen helped me a lot when I first left Beachbody just to realize that walking is okay. I have some people that is still like four. I have somebody I'm working with now four months. Her movement goal is walking a mile a day. Yeah. And that's up from a quarter of a mile a day. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. And again, it, it, if you've never been in a high control group like Beachbody, then it's hard to like, um, it, it seems like it's, it's, it's hard to tell another trainer about that. It's hard to say like, Every single thing, every single, like, relationship I have with food is messed up. Every single, like, thought I have about working out is messed up. And so with someone like Jen, who's been in it, she was in Beachbody. She's also a certified personal trainer, and she has other certifications, (laughs) too. And having someone who has the empathy and the knowledge to, like, work with, if you have left Beachbody and you're like, I'm screwed up, but I'm like, I need to, like, work with someone who has empathy – Go with someone like Jen. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, let's not get my uh, YouTube slapped, guys. I, I We're all excited. Just, you know, YouTube's yeah. very. Um, yeah, let's uh, not. We can mention. rhyme. Dump yeah. rhymes with, you know, who we're talking about. I so think that was a good rhyme. Yes. All right. Cheetos. Yes. Cheetos. <laughs> Autumn. Yep. Cause Autumn. I was trying to check Sharon says so Cheetos. because she's like the my my uh she's working on she's working on a project right now so she might not have anything up do you follow mo is it moshe m-o-s-h-e-h he's the one that i prefer i like him and sharon they actually do a lot together yeah they do i like him i'm seeing if um sorry let me (laughs) sorry (laughs) i'm seeing if uh if that he's posted anything so um, informed too. is live right now. I like to like people like Moshe and, and Sharon. I like them because they they're kind of more safer to like listen to and learn from and it's not as you know inflammatory. I'm trying to see if he's Hey Moshe had a story that. and he actually did a hashtag partnership in there. Oh hell yeah, we love that. that. Really good. Let's see. The um, let's see. I don't think he's. Maybe he has. Two hours ago. Okay, but if you look at his stories, McDonald's yep. has Breaking a new news. strawberry, yep. strawberry yep. shortcake McFlurry. Oh <gasps> heck! What? All right, sorry. Um, on un- uh, let's see. Oh, it's been filed under seal and would be announced in the coming days. This is from 15 minutes ago. All right, so if y'all want more information, New York Times. I'm posting. Yeah. I posted a. I'm posting a um a share from Twitter to my stories for New okay. York Times. Yeah, article. and so, but if you're um, Moshe used to be like an executive producer or something for a news station. So if you mm-hmm. want someone to like read through the news with you, basically that this guy's really good. So yep. Um. So he's posting about if y'all want to go look over there on your phone or something, go for it. And Amber. So. How do you spell it? M O S H E A H. Okay. Two workouts that week, and I really want you guys to do those. You're going to have total body cardio and dirty 30. But then you have those other five days to play around, check out other things yeah. in the body catalog, go back to your favorite programs if you want, take a few extra rest days if your body needs it. We've got the three cycle rides that you can add in in up week. You can also use those three cycle rides. You could sub them in for cardio throughout the first three weeks, or you can use them as a sixth day. Oh. Um, so three different ways to use the cycle workouts. Obviously we don't have Pilates and uh, Pilates and yoga, but I really encourage you guys on those two rest days to maybe go over there and do one or two of those from the original or from. So no rest days for you, five days with me, Two days more of workout. Okay, take rest days, but no, don't. But do workout one more day, but no. But do, an- and I know, Jen, you think, like, Jen, you don't, did you say, like, moving every day is not, I don't remember what you said. I don't want to miss you. It's not horrible. Okay. It just depends on what it is. Okay. You, like, we like, used to do active rest days when I was yeah. in, when I was training, 
we would still move. We would do something like stretching and like making our, so not, not necessarily I'll, just stretching, but like playing water polo or something like yeah. something that was completely different from our sport, yes. having fun so and doing stuff like here, that. Here's an example of what, here's what the movement calendar looks like for the, my community next month. It's seven days a week, but it's, it's two total body strength days. And then there's a day where you choose between an upper or a lower body strength day. And in between those, there's a cardio day. There is a, um, recovery day. Then there's a cardio day and Sunday is a recovery day. And the, the key with, and everybody in this group knows now, it's like, you don't have to do all seven of them. I'm my, my, my task to them is to commit to at least three days of movement a week. Mm. Pick any of the three. Yeah. That's awesome. Pick any of the three. That's awesome. Real time because they really <laughs> do help keep you in that habit and in that pattern of moving your body, but it's more uh, active recovery. So okay. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm pausing it so much. She's saying in that pattern of moving your body, your like, body. are you saying it's <sighs> like going to be like, if okay, you're not in a pattern, Oh, is that me? Oh, no, no um, it's me. I don't know how to good. turn volume down. Apparently, you're good. <laughs> is, is that part of like a, a a disordered approach? Like, oh my gosh, if you're not going to move, then you're going to somehow fall out of it. Or is there any like actual science or support around like building habits around movement? I don't know what I'm trying to ask. I know I'm being so confusing. I think I kind of get what you're asking. So, <laughs> say you work out for for three weeks. Sure. And you take one entire week off and don't exercise, train at all, you are not going to lose your progress in a week. No, it won't happen. No, won't happen. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't think Autumn would agree with you. I think Autumn, you know, things. If, you, if you're not thinking about fitness twenty four seven, then you're going to lose your progress. If you are really so, there's a difference between movement, exercise, and training. Okay. Exercise is kind of what these people do. They exercise. When you're training, you are following a specific program. Okay. And when you're following a training program, there are specific weeks programmed in, like their up week, which is actually a deload week. The okay. issue that I have with what they're doing with these blocks is these people will not be working hard enough for three weeks to need a deload week. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yep. But you can do, like, it's a simple, people forget that going for a walk, cleaning your house, playing with your kids, you know, riding a bike, that is still movement and that still counts. And that can still play into creating the habit that you want to create with whatever movement you want to do. It still counts towards that. And she says in the, the sample workout, it takes 20 days, 21 days to create a habit. Actually, no, it's 66 days on average. Wow. It's not 21 days. 21 yep. days comes from a plastic surgeon Boom, burn, Autumn. Burn. Plastic surgeon and how he saw his his patients recovering. It was mm. over 21 days. But for habit building, well, it's 66. Okay. And again, Anywhere from I 18 think, to 256 days. This is where, though, to me, again, it's the messaging that comes in. This is why I don't like whenever I would have a surgery, it'd be like, okay, how quick can I get back? Because apparently I can lose my momentum in a week. So I better not take time off. It's this messaging yeah. that just gets into your head so much that that is the problem mm. is the, uh, yeah, I mean, fear base. Yeah, when, I had, fear. when I had my history hysterectomy back in 2017, I was so anxious and so stressed about mm -hmm. losing all of the momentum that I had and having to take six weeks off. Now yeah. I'm two weeks out from surgery and I'm like, doctor's like, you need to stay on the couch, keep your foot elevated for a whole 14 days. Like I haven't done yeah. shit. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, next week you're in a boot. You can walk for 10 minutes a day. Yeah. Then you can start PT. And it's like, I am listening to them to AT. And I was like, yeah. well, you can start uh, doing upper body stuff. I said, one, I could. Two, I'm not eating enough food to support that. Right. Yeah, um, I love that. I felt okay after my hysterectomy. I felt a lot better, but everybody's is different. Yeah. I had a friend that just had one and she is miserable. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Yep. So especially with yoga, quieting the mind, stretching the body back out, 
using that to recover. Uh, the last thing I want to say, because I don't want to run too long on time, is I want you guys to remember that 21 Day Fix was not just a fitness program. It is fitness and it nutrition, is. right? Oh, the tagline was a simple fitness, simple nutrition, fast results. So that was what we said nine years ago. Yes. It's still that. It's still simple fitness. It's still simple nutrition with portion fix, although you could pair it with four week gut protocol if you would like. I love that about, she's what like, about, wait, what about 2B mindset? I know. She doesn't even give the time of day to any other fitness, I mean, food program that Beachbody does. If you've heard her live, we've reacted to it, I think, where she's like, I don't even know about other people's programs because that's my, not my area of expertise. She won't even recommend other people's well, and programs. She said, she said if she watched other people's programs, she was worried she would that she may like subconsciously take some of their content and put in her program. And again, oh if you look at programming from like me and like I have friends that are, that are trainers and they have programming. If you put our program side by side, they're going to be very similar. Yeah. Because they're effective. <laughs> they're right. simple. Yep. They're basic and they work. The biggest difference is I don't work like I will refer people to other people because maybe we're not a good fit, but I trust right. them. Yeah. It's yeah. Yep. Um, and yes, obviously when we do those things, we're gonna get fast results, but I don't even want you to think about the results being physical. I want you to think about <laughs> yeah, you how do. Quick the mindset shifts can start to happen, how quickly you might start to feel better, start to sleep more, have more energy, things like that. Obviously, if you've got a weight loss goal, I'm here to celebrate that as well. Um, there is no shame in that. I just want you to have that as one of the goals and then look at all these other. But why does um, it even have to be other... one of the goals? I mean, and I, get, I, and I agree with her. If you have a weight loss goal, that is your thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But for her to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be one of the goals. But again, at the same time, why does it have to be a goal? Why can't you just focus on all the other stuff you just said? But again, though, I mean, if we go back to the oh, basic me messaging of Beachbody, I mean, with 2B, you're supposed to weigh every single morning so that you know if it's a weight loss day or not. She's recorded yeah. herself weighing herself every single morning every and day. then showing yeah. the decreases. So it's yeah. not it's, it's something she believes and something that she does like by mm -hmm. her actions. And she wants other people to do it, too. We've also seen what she thinks about the body positivity movement mm -hmm. and the awful things she said about people who are bigger than she is. It's only positive towards people who are out of shape. That's her saying that stuff. Um, yep. I'm going to answer Andy's question real quick. Okay. Is, it, yep. is it best practice when hiring a personal trainer to also hiring a dietitian nutritionist or is that not important? People hate it when I say this, but it totally depends on you and what you need um i don't because i don't give nutrition plans but i can talk about like basic nutrition stuff with people and then i also have people i work with that i refer to dietitians um who need work i know a lot of the ladies in here see the dietitian that i see <laughs> um love him so He's it, fantastic. It, it all really it all really depends on what you you need and your in and where you want to go so um like if somebody is adamant on uh mm. weight loss i would send them to a dietitian mm. i would not send them to their doctor i would send them to a dietitian because doctors are not uh educated in nutrition maybe one semester yeah yeah they so are if, not. if you're looking for nutrition and eating and relationship with food dietitian 100 percent. yep and, and it, then if you're working with a dietitian and a personal trainer, hopefully you can get them on the same team. Yeah. And then you have a support system from both people. Yeah. And same, it, same with a the physical therapist. Gotcha. Other things that we non-scale victories as well. So let's not forget that 21 day fix super block is still fitness and nutrition. We want to put those two things together you guys i've got my body group going if you haven't joined me in there come on over the deadline to join that group is march 31st that is a hard cutoff date i want everybody in there excited so that i can coach you guys through this super block so i hope you join me in there 
Let's use these next few days to get prepped and ready to go. And let's just have so much fun with this super block, you guys. I cannot wait to hear what everybody thinks about it. I know the podcast loved it and I know you guys are going to love it too. Thanks. Bye. Because it was all oh her friends. Thank you yeah. so much. We are all. All right. Let me remove this. It was all her friends. Yeah. In the podcast. So of course they loved it. It always is. It was fantastic. It always um, is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Sorry. 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 And yep. Andy's web. If you don't follow me on Instagram, just send me a message and I'll check my um, things and I'll, we can talk more about it over there and I can give you some resources to um, get in contact with. Yeah. And Jen's really good about giving resources that are like founded in science and like she always recommends people talking to their doctor if you have access to that. But we, there's also sometimes where people don't have insurance, they don't have access to good medical care. And so she'll direct you yep. to like uh, sites and like links and books and stuff too, so that you're not just stuck um, without help and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put these. Uh... Put Petra's up. Yep. Uh, okay, oh, Petra's. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Local video. Where are you, Petra? All right. Um, this is yeah and it must it? be me I, I if you call like the people that i work with and i refer people out for right for dietitians um some of them take insurance but you definitely do have to i would call your insurance company and check because sometimes most of the time dietitians are covered under insurance but you that's a call you would have to make to your insurance company so like the one i work with and the one amy works with um he takes insurance so Mm -hmm. most and honestly I had never even looked into it like I was like well I don't need a dietitian like I'll be fine and now that I've realized like no I've gotten really disordered um I need a dietitian I didn't realize that how much money I would have saved if I had gone to a dietitian instead of to Beachbody um I'm just saying yep. it's it's crazy it's crazy um when you truly look at how much I've spent on all of these wonky things to try, if I had just gone to an actual reputable dietitian, because I mean, there are some out there that are not great. Not a functional her. nutritionist, a registered dietitianist. <laughs> yes. And I would, and I would honestly like, and Jenna tell you this too, like go look at their content. Is it something that resonates with you? Is it something that you, because you're just like a doctor, you're not going to get along with everybody. And that's yeah. why usually so, I will I will give people five, four or five people yeah. to contact first to see who they make a fit. And, and same with like if somebody wants to work with me, okay, let's get on a call. Do we align? Do our values align? Do we yeah. fit? Yeah. And if we don't, I'll send you to somebody else. Yeah. Like if somebody yep. comes to me, it's like I want to do power lifting. Well, I can't. No, I will send that's you to this me. person. If you want all kettlebells, I'll send you this person. If you want yeah. animal flow, here's this person. Yeah. Wait, you mean not Amalia? <laughs> not you mean not you know, with Harry he, Water? No, no. I will say he will his he will probably actually have decent form with that, and he knows oh, how he to do the animal flow, right? But he has great form. But these Huns are going to hate that program. Yeah, they're going to hate it because it's not easy for just the regular. Animal person. flow is not a beginner's thing. No. It's so it's hard. It is hard. Yeah. It is hard. Yep. It gets on my list of things to learn to do, but now it's like pushed back another year because of my ankle. But mm. it's like, you know, yeah. it's hard. It is. Thank you for that warm welcome. Oops. And whoops. Oh, Petra. Whoops. Whoop. Petra. Petra. Yeah, sorry, her screen kinda, is that smaller than they didn't size she it up. She kind of looks like my grandma here, my grandma Becky. Carly, animal flow is actually really fun. <gasps> well, and Just wish yeah, I, I, I did some animal flow because the former, the former person who did P90X Live, the format expert, she now has her own fitness program. And she does not teach animal flow. She has someone that does animal flow yep. and she has them teach that portion. Yep. Um, so it's, 
but I mean, again, though, I mean, I was impressed with that. She's like, this is my program, but this is not my wheelhouse. I'm learning too. We're going to bring in this person because it is, it can be really fun. I will say though, some things are, are, are a little bit odd. Let's just say you have to have very strong and stable shoulders. Mm. Yes, you do. And as always, thank you for like your energy just like lights me up. I just want a bit of you in my back pocket every single day to like remind me of how. I'm sorry. I'm just going to pick on the graphics for one second. This is pre-recorded, I think. And maybe, or is it not? <laughs> no, hers is pre-recorded as well. I don't understand whoever's doing Beachbody graphics, why they would not size, why they would not like have the consistent Still aspect the ratio the sides oh she could have she could it doesn't matter i guess not it just annoys me it's just so sloppy that they didn't do that it just just an eye roll i don't know okay carly the new program is what's it called Ch uh chop wood carry water uh, how to bring this energy into the world that we are trying to impact in a powerful and beautiful way and high body partners high body coaches so i'm here to share with you a little bit about mindset and today is the day thank you first of all for your patience i know we kind of dropped a couple of videos at the beginning of the year and then it was like okay what's what, what's coming and it today is the day so we have our first mindset masterclass. Um, I brought, I was the one doing the class and it's called Happiness Habits. It really is a foundation to start all our mindset content from. It's through the lens of positive psychology. It's kind of positive psychology 101. And there's four segments that really just remind us that for the majority of us, not not always, but in the extraordinary of ordinary days, we have a choice. We have a choice where we want to pay, place our focus. We want to have a choice where we place our energy, where we place our attention. And so our first masterclass is really about how can we create more self-directed happiness? Can you pause lives? this really quick? Not, yep. Am I happy? Yep. <laughs> because I would just like to say, as verified by, by Jemima Weschler, when I talked to her, uh, Petra is not a psychologist. She has no degree in, in psychology. Nope. So um, she has no business talking about positive psychology or mm. any of this. She has a certification that she paid for. Yeah, a certificate and a certification is not the same as a degree. Hmm. Yep. I'd say so. It's so interesting. I, I, what is up with? And I, I will say this. Uh, what's up with Carl? What's up with Carl letting anybody like do whatever they want at his company without any accreditation or certificate? Like no, certifications it's just to Petra. Just it's oh, there's other people. Money. Sure. Well, I mean, Petra's on a pretty big. P Amalia. Petra's a Amalia, if you look on the FAQ. For the new program it says at the bottom nasm and issa certified personal trainer and strength coach that's you go awesome to autumn's program there's nothing it doesn't. like that joel's program there's nothing there and lacy's program there's something there megan's program there's something there about being certified autumn is the only one yeah i just i just don't know why he wouldn't make ever like why would it he would not feel better about every single program his company name is slapped on that they would have certifications associated with so it. carly she's a she's a self-help guru basically. um and if you search her on youtube there is a bunch of old workout videos that she used to do yeah mm -hmm. um she used to do that for step robot step reebok wasn't it yep so yeah. at corporate there are certified trainers at the corporate level who write these programs oh mm -hmm. so they so autumn who says she's the creator yes. of 21 day fix it wasn't just her she had a certified yeah. personal trainer working with her. So, so then how did they come up with some of the stuff they have in some of these programs that are just wild? Is that just Autumn saying, like, we're doing this, whether you probably. like it or not? Her Probably a mix between her and Carl. Saying, mm. because, you know, he's got to be innovative. Okay. Innovative, have never seen before. <laughs> right. Yeah or sad but what can we do as an individual as a leader oh. to bring one percent more happiness into our day each day and then share that happiness forward to the people we want to inspire so we have our first masterclass up and there's four sections 
you can watch them one one section a week you can yo the um the chat is combining everyone's channel so if you're frustrated with someone you have to say who specifically you're talking to because i don't know whose channel this is on binge watch like netflix whatever works for you and your team and then because it's monday we have our first quick shift which is like a little add-on oh, every no, monday you will see a prompt an idea a reminder of how you can bring more happiness into your life a little action step and then it hasn't released yet on friday you will see some questions from our facebook community which it's growing by leaps and bounds. We have such a powerful Facebook community. If you need some of us to fill your wellness cup up because you're giving so much, feel free to pop on in and uh, we're here just to support you and your, and your team. So that's that. Also, right now you have, we have also, what I wanted to do is create content that it wasn't uh, forward facing over here and then your teams and you over here. So every month you will see in your coach toolkit, it's up now, a video that is based for you and your business that is related to the monthly masterclass. So this month, it's all about how can we bring more happiness and joy into your business. Now, for some of you, I do know you've been teaching this work and as for your downline, right? People who are just getting started in the business, this is, we're hoping this is a tool that they can also use with their teams. It gives them a talking point. It gives them something they could use in one of their meetings. And it's really to help you and your team strengthen your mindset should you need to when it comes to your business. And you'll see me mention at the end of the video, this is our first time doing this. This is my first time doing this. Every month you will see me, not the guest. The guests will do the mindset masterclasses and the quick shifts and the think spaces, but I'll be doing the coach coach um, corner, the coach mindset. And with loving appreciation, I'm very open to hearing your suggestions. So give it a couple of months. Let me know in a couple of months whether the content we're creating is helping the business. Is it what you need? Again, I can't please everybody, but this is for you and your business. So we're really open door here. Uh, one of, you know, we I, I created something that I think hopefully will be a really useful tool, but I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong. So really welcome your feedback. And that's really- I have it. feedback I for you, Petra. <laughs> you. I have feedback. I mean, I, I have to say it's kind of refreshing to hear her say she could be wrong because we would never hear that from Autumn. No, no we yeah. wouldn't. What I, I would also but, like to add, um, they have weight loss hypnosis, hypnosis oh, yeah. as part of this mindset thing. Without a licensed hypnosis, clinician? Hip, hypnosis yep. for weight loss. But I thought it wasn't about the weight loss anymore, Carl. Well, it might be, if, there, if that's going to be a master class, that might be an expert that she is uh, bringing in. The uh -huh. thing that the thing that bothers me with this, and this is kind of where I think all of us got stuck in white. One of the reasons that Cheryl was in it so long is that you intertwine all of these things together. You intertwine your working out, your nutrition, your mindset, your business. So they get you in every aspect possible. It is going to impact you emotionally, physically, mentally spiritually often and so they get this all tied together in that sunk cost fallacy and some of those other things start to really screw with your head yep mm. and that is a big concern yeah and yeah weight loss hypnosis is in there it's it's wild yeah and and i would say this is just me after you only want to mess around with that with that stuff with a licensed ethical clinician you don't it is not not i'm not talking about weight loss hypnosis i know that it is i don't know what's happening we lost a, cheryl looks like she keeps trying to come back in but i don't i don't know how to put her back on the screen okay hey cheryl i i put you on the screen I, there we go hello okay i can't hear you though
Uh, yeah, okay, wait. yeah, Clown Town. Oh. They're just putting this out on the body platform as a like one size fits all sort of thing, like a weight loss oh. meditation, weight loss hypno. It, it's literally called hypnosis for weight loss. Can you hear there's me like now? Three, yep. There's, yes. There's like three different videos under yeah. it. Yeah. There's some um, th there's some legal cases that have uh, been uh, uh, where someone got in big trouble because they did something to someone else and they used hypnosis to do it. So you don't want to mess around with this stuff without an ethical licensed clinician, an ethical licensed clinician. So, OK. All right. Welcome back, Cheryl. Thank we you. Love you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. For the, the first few leaders I met at Summit uh, at Leadership back in October when I'd just come on, to your patience and your enthusiasm and your grace and your open heartedness for this pillar called mindset that we are building moment by moment, idea by idea, expert by expert, uh, chance by chance, and with great intention to help our customers and you and your business. So um, I just want to say thank you. Today is the day. <laughs> uh, Happiness Habits is on the body platform. And in your coach toolkit, you will also see uh, coach, mo uh, coach Mindset. Hopefully, I am hope you, you like what we're creating. And again, this is um, seeking the good, right? From that foundation of all that is working, we can then manage the gaps and pivot and shift and, and work together and co-create this, in, hopefully, incredible new um, addition to what you already have been doing so, so beautifully through nutrition and so far. Um, movement. And now the health esteem umbrella, we bring mindset. So I'm going to be quiet now. Okay. Now, and hand it back to our fearless, amazing host, Keyshawn. And just thank you for the gift of your time. And thank you for saying yes to Mindset. And I will see you uh, next month to bring you more details on our next Mindset Masterclass lo lo uh, launching with our first ever official guest. Thank you again and have a great week ahead. So is that the last of that video? Okay. Yeah, that's the last of hers. Oops. Sorry. 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 Okay. So I just okay. want to say this, the only person qualified to actually call themselves a mindset coach is a psychologist. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's a certification I'm looking to take next year because it only runs two times a year and it's a health coach, health mindset coach certification. It is run by a PhD in psychology. And we're told you are not a psychologist. We're just giving you tools to help your clients when it comes to behavior change and habits. Mm. It's very, yeah. there is a very narrow scope of what we are allowed to do with that certification. Yeah. Yep. Same when it comes to the personal training certification, same when it comes to the nutrition certifications that I have, I have a scope that I am allowed to stay in mm. these beach body coaches, which, Petra called them numerous times. She's did you guys catch that? She yep. Saying coaches. Mm -hmm. Yep. They yep. don't understand that. They won't understand that. And they're going to go way outside. And that's a problem. Well, to me, it's the same thing as as like life coaching, yep. right? Like you and I can say this because I'm actually a certified life coach. <laughs> Yay. <Okay. laughs> the, the the problem I had with it is that it so easily gets into things that only a therapist should be yep. doing. And that is the concern, right? So you, in order to life coach, you see some of these life coaches and they are obviously out of scope. So out of scope. Yeah, They're talking about your childhood trauma and it's like, whoa, <laughs> no, no, nope. no, you're, you're not supposed to do that. But how do you help someone with those things without that? You That's send them you to a therapist. therapist. You send them to a therapist and you work in conjunction with their therapist as part of a team. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And if Imagine someone can that. afford and if someone can afford to pay a life coach what they what life coaches charge, you can do therapy too. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. therapy is usually less. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to go back to the presentation, because we're 
we're gonna talk about one other okay uh, like one other i'm so sorry that i missed yeah. autumn what what did i miss the nothing remaining part no, it's the oh, same same okay. stuff different same day. old same old <laughs> Same old autumn. I'm so sorry I missed Petra too. I mean that that really hurts my heart. <laughs> I'll just send it. I'll send There's it. There's no sarcasm directly. there whatsoever. Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm good, Amy. I Are you I, sure? I, I think yeah. My mindset is okay. If I need any additional help, I'll reach out to some of my friends on Instagram that I've made the past couple of days, and and oh. and ask their their opinions of how I should okay. be feeling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your new friends, right? Yeah, my new <laughs> friends. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get back to the presentation, but I don't know how I did it before where I didn't have to do full screen. So I'm trying to Tanya, don't it. tell them to lick the stream. It's psychology flavored. They'll Ooh. never do it. <laughs> I'll tell you my new my new favorite concoction for shake flavors. I have this horchata protein powder. So I do that what? with cherry, blueberry, a whole banana. <gasps> almond milk a whole and a one? scoop of peanut butter yeah um my post Ooh, my so post good. workout my post workout snack today i did a, a protein shake which it was cookies and cream flavored and then i put um, wait a second cookies, cookies and, and cream? creamy cookies and, it, cookies and cream oh, like not yeah cookies and creamy no not cookies and oh, creamy no, no. Um, because okay. that is co- not Beach Bodies. No, it's a different. It's called um Steel Supplements. Um, but it's really good. And then I add uh, vanilla Greek yogurt into it mm. for extra protein, and then just almond milk. And then I threw a couple extra Oreos in there to make the, oh yeah it a little more extra cookies nice. and creamy Oreo cream. Yeah, oh, you Oreos. ruined it, Amber. You ruined um, it. You don't like Oreos? I'm joking. I'm literally no. being a smart ass. There's so I was like, I was ready to kick you off the snark crew. Oh my God. I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, I don't know oh. what I'm doing. Oh, I don't know how oh I did it before. Do. Amy, are you Amy, are you, with Amy, a fork? Amy, are you gonna go try and find that ranch ice cream? If I find it, I would I would try it. There's a new one though. Oh, that is I, um, French fries and chocolate shake mix. Ooh, I'm ooh. all over that. I, mean, I, totally just... I used to dip. <coughs> yeah, I fries in your frosty. Oh yes, I'm oh, all yes. about that. It's if we're gonna talk yes. about the FTC regulations, are we getting them from the FTC or a blog post? <laughs> um, I, oh, just, I, I searched it on Google and I found. Thank some you, really Andy's web for blogs. saying about the sliding scale therapy. Most people don't know about that. I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Um, I'm gonna actually. We're gonna talk to some. Um, you're gonna hear some videos from an actual expert. Oh. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what I did before, but I'm just having trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was asking, do you guys eat your Oreos with a fork what? when you dip, dunk them in milk? Um, no, but that seems so smart. I actually, I actually don't dunk them in milk. I don't dunk them. No. Oh, I dunk them. I dunk. <gasps> I don't. Oh, Jake, milk. Jake dunk I, them. I, I, I don't dunk I them. I don't like milk. Yeah, I oh, don't either. Okay. I don't either. I just I take them. them. I I'll screw them off, and then I eat the the. The cream first, the cream. and then I eat the cookie. No, see, oh. I'll take two, screw, take them apart, put the two together, go. especially if I don't have the double stuffed, and then I'll eat those, and then I'll crush. I up always, the other, I always, then I'll the crush up the other cookies and save them for later to use in baked goods. Got it. Or okay, put on yogurt. So what you have to do, DC? Let me teach you. You you <laughs> get a fork and you stick it in the cream filling, and then you can fully dunk the cookie. What? <laughs> And your fingers don't get dirty. Oh my god, this is incredible! <laughs> what? Oh You're my welcome. god! Uh, it's life changing. Wow. Janet, wow. I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna dirty a fork. <laughs> I yes. Oh my god. So I will. You put the Oreo like on for, the fork, right? Yeah. 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 Yes, oh my god, I'm yeah. doing that tonight. I'm doing See, that for tonight my, for my we shakes. I'll use Oreo. almond milk for if I have cereal, Me which too. I don't really eat cereal anymore, as almond milk because. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I will I, only use milk in cereal, like actual milk in cereal, because there's something about just cold milk in cereal, like some Cheerios, 
or uh, you know, cereals. Like, like, cereals, charms. one of those. Foods oh, Lucky Charms! Now. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon toast. But I do expect cinnamon toast crunch was my was my binge food at night, mm. and so it's like I really don't eat cereal anymore. I don't miss. Every once in a while, I have a bowl, and I'm like, eh, it's not as good as I remember. So I was like, I'll go like another seven months without eating. <laughs> Yeah, now Lucky my kids Charms eat is as it every good. Day. Yeah, Lucky Charms <laughs> is as good as it, I remember when I was a kid. Like I'm, I'm the worst. <laughs> my sister's like, "Oh, hello, child in the background." <laughs> yeah, Clown Town. I, Clown Town. I don't have milk. I don't have milk in mine. Oh my god, the majority of the no, no. Okay, so he just also got home from school. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. You I have to click you. on the presenter oh, only that. view. So Look if up. you are click doing a percent. stream. Emily you need to, yeah. click the present button. Yes. Click present. Do you yes. See? So you have to use the the um the view only link, not the editing link, and you can get it into this no borders option. So okay. Cool. Can we go back to the next. I know. Next. 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 Nope. Still no sound. Uh Amy, I don't know if I'm gonna get sound on. Uh, yes. On his videos, why don't you have sound? I think because yeah. it's referencing your Canva account, and I don't. I might uh like my videos aren't pulling in your sound. I don't know. Um, that's so weird because yes. I did it. I think I did it the same way I did it last. I know. Time. I don't. I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm not getting sound. Should I you just pull it up? To to his Instagram. Yeah, go to his Instagram okay. because the information that he has there okay. is. Fantastic. Robert Friend Law. Okay. Instagram. I'm pulling I wonder it if up. he has a YouTube channel. I don't know, but he's amazing. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, he really is. I mean, hey, are you he, he taught me a lot of things because there's times that I share things. Like, I don't, like, when I share my, my planners, right? I mean, just because people already know that they're my planners and they go to my Etsy store and obviously it's going to, yeah, I'm going to get a kickback from it. Yeah. I should put commissionable link or something, you know, to let people know. I didn't know any of that. Yeah. So it's all about, I mean, I didn't yell at anybody because they showed, they told me that I, yeah. I accepted it because it's, it's how you work. Like when people, he when has you a see, YouTube channel. -uh. He, has 20, he has 24 subscribers. Oh, go, go so sub to him. He's good. So okay, let's see. is he actively posting on it? Uh, the last one was three months ago. So okay. he just, well, maybe he just all started of it. Got like 100, if he all of a sudden got like a hundred subs, he'd be like, Whoa. wait, what? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So everybody go, go. Yeah, over go to sub. His... All right. Can you guys see this? Yes. I have a kid that... who's like, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> I was going to say, <gasps> is that Grover or a child? <laughs> That is the child. Yes. Grover is bigger and he makes a lot more noise. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna let me go out and click back in. So it, it there we go. Um uh risks with affiliate links. Nope, you can't hear, right? Um guys, can you hear now? That liability yeah. for false or deceptive ads yeah, we'll, we'll watch is it shared between the brand, its marketing agencies, and its affiliates and creators. So let's say you give creators an affiliate link and they can earn commissions from sales made through that link. That creator's post can get you in trouble because the law will treat their affiliate content as your brand's own advertising. Oh, Take what? an extreme example. Your brand makes gummy vitamins and an affiliate makes a post saying that the vitamins can cure cancer. Your brand is on the hook for that content. This is why it's critically important to monitor what your affiliates are doing and you should have a written agreement with them that sets out what they are and aren't allowed to do. That agreement should also indemnify you in case their conduct gets you in trouble. Knowing the risks and how they arise can save you a lot of money. If your brand runs an affiliate program, there are risks that you should know about. The FTC recently re-emphasized that liability for false or deceptive ads is shared between the brand, its marketing agencies, and its affiliates and creators. Oh, I think so. Let's say you give. Yeah, I know it's relating. I just wanted to repeat the front the beginning part. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, FTC Beachbody penalty. has this in yeah. their um, their their coach agreement. Thank you. Yes, and none of them read it. Um, yeah, I will no. personally. Even when we email compliance about it, they don't give yeah. a 
No. And yeah. I personally, when I first found him, um, saw the one uh, reel that he did. And I asked him if this includes someone who is in an MLM as well. And he said, it most definitely does. Oh. So anytime that you see a Beachbody coach share, uh, like I think I showed Tanya the other day showing, um, sharing her the recover. Yeah. And she put a recover. She should have put commissionable link to that yep. because when you click on that link, she, it takes you to her Beachbody coaching store and she gets a kickback on it. Um, that goes for anything that, that anybody shares on the internet. I'm not just talking about MLMers. I'm talking about people who are quote unquote influencers. You can't, yeah. Just because your Amazon storefront says commissionable link, that doesn't mean that it's that you are following the FTC guideline. Yeah, it's not the enough. link that you share on your Instagram stories needs to say commissionable link. As it has well. to be clear. Right. It has to be because visible. The consumer has to be able to see that it's already commissionable up front. Yep. And make that valid decision rather than going to click in the link, go into your website or your Amazon storefront. And in the very top corner in small little letters, it says commissionable, you know, yeah. but it, <sighs> it's not just commissions though. It's any favors you've received. It's anything yeah. that yeah. you receive in turn for your promotion. So like, yes, commissionable links. So it does apply to MLMs, but like if you've received any product, you have to make it clear it to the person watching your stuff. If you're getting favors because you're sharing it, if you're um, getting like one time payout, you have to tell them. If you're getting the commissionable, you know, link from your affiliate, you have to tell them. This is what the FTC's website says how to disclose. Make sure people will see and understand the disclosure. Place it so it's hard to miss. The disclosure should be placed with the endorsement message itself. On every slide, yes. On every slide. Disclosures <laughs> are likely to be missed if they appear only on an about me or profile page at the end of posts or videos or anywhere that requires a person to click more. Don't mix your disclosure into a group of hashtags or links. If your endorsement is in a picture on a platform like Snapchat and Instagram stories, superimpose the disclosure over the picture and make sure the viewers have enough time to notice and read it. If mm. making an endorsement in a video, the disclosure should be in the video and not just in the description uploaded with the video. Users are, viewers are more likely to notice disclosures made in both audio and video. Yep. Some viewers may watch without sound and others may not notice superimposed words. Finally, if making an endorsement in a live stream, the disclosure should be repeated periodically so viewers who only see part of the stream will get the disclosure. Yep. It's not us. It's like, it, it, it's that's not us being haters. FTC. That's straight from the FTC website. Not a blog post. Not Guess a blog who gets post. to find people when they break the rules? The FTC does. And, and if you're thinking, oh, they're not going to come after me, a small creator... <laughs> They came after the doTERRA reps for making claims that about um, uh, the and vid. And the Monet. And the Monet. And Monet. Right. Monet. The attorney general went after Monet in Florida because their rep was saying that their supplements protected them from getting sick from the vid. So uh -huh. it's, and you could say, well, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just sharing a link that I'm going to make a few cents on if someone buys it. You still, you still have to tell it. It still has to be do done. It. it still has to be done. Yep. Yeah. Point blank period. And just because I mean, and I, when I, go ahead. When I share links to stuff, I put not an affiliate link because none of my links are affiliate. Yeah. Links. But it's like, just like, just because like you're uncomfortable with this information being facts, being like the actual case with like how you're supposed to talk about links doesn't mean that like, doesn't mean that the information's going to change. Like, just because you're upset with us saying, like, hey, you know what, big influencer, you need to tell people this is a commissionable link. And it's not yeah. enough to say, oh, I'm with Restyle. Um, it, it re Everyone knows that Restyle link is commissionable. No, no they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, no. No. I, 
like to know it is that commissionable because i didn't know that yep it is yeah that's yep. yeah like it to know it is um, yeah. See, I, have, her... and, and I have no idea what until like a few months ago what either one of those were yeah, yeah they're all commissionable <laughs> no idea yep what about your amazon storefront yep. yes commissionable mm -hmm. hmm. yep so Man, even if it's through a a website you have created to keep these um you have to have fun, notifications it yeah. has to be on there and if yep. you post that website it still has to be uh disclosed that the website you are making commissionable money yeah. from it there's a big crypto the uh, lawsuit going on right now i think it's crypto but um, the influencers who were involved with sharing this opportunity are in the lawsuit because yep. they got kickbacks from it. They didn't notify their I followers. I mean, Brittany and... Dawn, anybody? Mm. Yeah. I mean, she's literally in court and going through well, court. Well, and there's in his, in his Instagram, Yeah, he's got a thing on there about the increase in the fine amount. He's got one on. Yeah, it's they really started to like fifty thousand dollars, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, 50 grand. yeah. They started hyper focusing on this with the fire festivals situation yes. that went down with mm -hmm. the orange squares that were being posted. Yep. If you don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, yep. Watch it on Hulu. Watch the second one on Netflix. Watch them both because they yep. got influencers to make it uh, they, to hype it up. There was no. Mm -hmm notification or whatever saying that they yep. were going to get to go for free or whatever and people could have died on that trip because yep. people bought thousands and thousands, thousands of, dollars of dollars of tickets mm -hmm. there was no bathrooms there was no, no food. shelter there no was food, no food no water there was no water wait a second okay i was deep in <laughs> laughing at something on the on instagram <laughs> And I don't want people to think that I'm being like I'm just laughing at something that's horrible. <laughs> what did you all say? What 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 was this? The okay, fire festival. Fire F Y R E oh, fire festival. Wow, that was with Ja Rule, right? Yeah, yes. yeah. I know. Go watch it if you don't understand why people are making a big deal about these influencers not disclosing that they're getting a kickback for promotion. That's mm -hmm. that at that point and it was several years ago. That's when they were like, we this is a big deal. And listen, we can't catch all of it. We can't nope. catch all of them. But when we see it happening, we we bring it up and we call it out and we bring it to their attention. And if and when we present them with the with the info and the actual guidelines, then that's on them to do with it what they will with that info. So yeah. it's then on them to decide yep. what they're going to do. And if because honestly, it's all in protecting themselves to, mm -hmm. to protect themselves to so they don't get slapped with <clears throat> fines it's amazing that i mean we actually really do care about helping people not really yeah i mean down. let's logically process through this who ends up losing if you start telling them about the affiliate link you just Nobody. get saved you just get saved from having to pay a fine if the ftc decides to look in your direction you're the mm -hmm. one that gets saved we don't, it, it doesn't make us happy that, like, to get cussed out in our DMs, like, that one of your friends is upset for us saying, like, hey, you know what, that's, uh, that needs to be disclosed. We do it for Beachbody. We do it for big influencers. I, I mean, it, I'm not saying it's open season. I'm saying, like, we don't give a flippity flop who it is. If it's someone on us, guess what? I'm going to DM you and say, hey, you know what, buddy, you need to tell, it, you, it's, it's an, you need to say it's an affiliate link. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Yep. It saves them from a fine. It's like, oh my gosh, my friend is driving towards a cliff. I'm going to tell them to stop driving because like they could get hurt. It's not, I don't know. It just makes me, it, it's like a little wild to like not process through this that like we don't win when you have to say like affiliate link. And you know what? Right. Like we're not getting the kick. We're ain't, we ain't getting a kickback from the FTC. Mm -hmm. no. just and most, and most people are happy. Most people are happy. Like if they have an influencer they like. And the influencer is saying, like, you know what, if I don't, if I only recommend really great products, and if you like that, and if you like me, you can buy with me, and I make a small commission on every product purchased through my link. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. It's really not, to, it's not hard You're not going to lose sales from that. It's People are probably going to say, like, wow, they're yeah. being really open and honest, and they're following the rules. I'm going to continue following and it's them. It's what I say all the time. Like, yes, I, when I post my links, I do make a I make some, it's, it's literally pennies, 
like pennies for some of the things that I post, but yeah, you don't have to buy through it. Like it's not, no. it's not a big deal because again, it's just pennies. Um, but if you want to, then okay, that's great. But I'm going to let you know that I am making a couple pennies off of it because that's the ethical thing to do. Yeah. Gosh, you know, it's just ethics. Um, Interesting. Let me click on these other ones so we can watch him and then we'll we'll let everyone go. Um, the FTC penalties just increase. Should I do that one? Oh, wait, let's, yeah. let's yeah. look at this one next. Influencer sued for $450,000 for not disclosing sponsored content. Let's look at that one oh, next what? to drive this what? point. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Are you kidding? What? No. Yes. Where is it? I, need, I, need I to, cannot believe it. You see, I need you to make a trip to Virginia to hook up my mic because it's just sitting here. <laughs> Still, yeah, I'll, I'll play with you. I want to be Amber. Sh- Cheryl needs, Sh- Cheryl need needs the hand mic. Drama. Okay, let's see. A travel influencer is oh. facing a lawsuit in Washington, D.C. Can y'all hear? Because she failed to properly oh. disclose that some of her posts were oh. sponsored content. Some, not all, some. For example, she allegedly posted about hotels she stayed at without disclosing that the stays were comped by the hotels as oh. part of a content deal. What? The law requires creators to disclose their relationships with brands every Wait. time they post about pause. the brand. Yep, yep, yep. I, I can't pause. Clear Here, and mute. I'll mute. Yep. No, nope, keep going. Time. Oh, it's okay. We, we'll just rewatch it. It's okay. The law requires this. Yep. The, the law. law. The law. Yeah. I, I could have waited for that. I'm sorry. Every You're good. You're good. single <laughs> time. Three hundred undisclosed posts. You know who does this the best? Disney does, and I know people hate Disney. I get it. Disney does this the best. When you see someone who is who is comped by Disney to go to their thing, it's super visible. It's super clear because Disney does not play around with this. Nope. If you're looking for a company that like no, keeps their don't. influencers in check, Disney does at least because it's not the one time Emily Falver actually disclosed something was on the Disney. cruise that Disney. Yep, paid for. they do that not like play around one with time. that. Yep, yep. <laughs> disclose their relationships Sorry, we're gonna with brands it. every time they post about the brand. And if those disclosures aren't clear and conspicuous through something like hashtag ad, then both the creator and the brand are violating the law. <laughs> Under DC's law, the plaintiff can recover $1,500 per violation oh. plus attorney's fees. In this case, the lawsuit identifies more than 300 <laughs> undisclosed ad posts, meaning the liability is at least 450 k before attorney's fees. Wow. I predict that we'll see more of these lawsuits targeting individual creators who failed to disclose their brand mm. relationships. Yup. A travel influencer yeah, is wild. facing a lawsuit. Mm. Um, it is... The increased uh, let's see. one, where's that one at? His okay. Instagram is so good. Y'all go follow it's, this guy. His name is so... Robert Frund Law. R-O-B-E-R-T F-R-E-U-N-D Law. It this is a good time. You know, it's just... Uh, Man, we should try to get him on here or something. Oh, my gosh. We should <laughs> that try. That would be great. Um, oh, doctor sued for buying fake followers. Have we seen any influencers buy <gasps> fake followers? No. no. What? No. what? No. Amber, what was that? A plastic what surgeon that is being that? sued yeah. by the Washington sorry, State sorry. Attorney General. Back. What? Which one was it? What was that chat? chat group you oh. were in amber oh it's a telegram group that's like a follow pod where you Which go is... and you you link your instagram oh. post that you want um um the algorithm to see and you want to boost it so you go and there's people in the pod and they just oh. like and comment and share and save it so the algorithm sees that as it's popular so it'll push it out but really that's cheating no, oh. you can lose your account over it. And Instagram, Instagram doesn't play doesn't around like with that. that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Surgeon is being sued by the Washington State Attorney General for manipulating online reviews and for buying fake Instagram followers. Oh. It might surprise you to learn that it can be illegal to buy fake followers, what? but it's true. Illegal. Here, the AG says that by buying tens of thousands of fake followers and thousands of fake likes, the surgeon presented a deceptive appearance of increased popularity to huh. consumers. That oh, allegedly deceptive practice said. violated Washington's Consumer Protection Act. 
Remember, the FTC oh, has already said that fake followers act. are a problem. In 2019, the owner of a company called Devumi, which sold fake followers and likes, paid two and a half million dollars to settle a case brought by the FTC. In that case, the FTC said, and I'm quoting, buying and selling fake followers is illegal. It undermines the marketplace and the FTC will not tolerate it. I'll be keeping oh. track of this case and providing updates on Holy this page. Dang. The plastic surgeon is being sued by the Washington. Okay. Sorry. Holy wow. Holy. Holy <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Baby snark. We need it, the uh, snark. It undermines the marketplace. Say it is true. <gasps> oh my wow. manta. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what? but how would I mean? Maybe we should look up a blog post to see if this is true. I know he's a lawyer. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but, he's a lawyer. What would he know? He only but, passed the state bar. I, what does this guy no, know? I think that we need. To I do think the one of him in the red shirt is the the legal difference between versus, influencer and content yeah, creators. Okay. Well, you you got to in. find out the one where the fees increase too. Okay. Oh yeah, that's towards yeah, the go. top. Okay. It is one yeah. legal difference. Well, that's several of you have asked me what the difference is between influencers and content creators from a legal perspective. One of the questions had to do with whether they still need a disclosure like hashtag ad from a piece of content coming from just a creator and not an influencer. Huh. The answer is that there is no difference. Oh, yes. The FTC's disclosure rules apply to all sponsored content regardless of whether you call the person an influencer, a creator, a partner, an ambassador, an affiliate, or anything else. Partner? So it doesn't matter if the person promoting your brand has 10 followers or 10 million. If there's a material what? connection between that person and an advertiser, like a brand, then the sponsored nature of that content must be disclosed. Boom. You don't Several of you have. I hope this guy blows up. Like, I hope his account gets so big that he like cannot handle all the business coming his way because I love it. FTC my, penalties just increased. Explode. Yeah, that one. Explode. Boom. Mic drop. This week, the FTC announced that it is increasing the maximum penalty for violations of its orders and for some of the rules that I frequently discuss on here, which cover what? things like shipping delays, fake reviews, oh, and influencer delays, disclosures, young living, young among living? other things. Influencer that penalty disclosure. is now up to more than $50,000 per violation, which can mean per <laughs> social media right? post and per day if the violation is ongoing. This week, the FTC... FTC, where you at? Oh, my God. Uh, the FTC has entered so the chat. If somebody doesn't, if somebody posts, like, five stories and not disclosing the link... $250,000. That, that, ...that they're getting commission from that link, $250,000 fine. Whoa, that could uh, definitely ruin whoa. a business. That could... That no, that's going to bankrupt. That, that, bankrupt. Could, that, could, that could take down someone's livelihood yeah. holy, right holy more than more than more, more than oh us God. pointing out that that yeah because we aren't finding them we're just like it. hey we're trying to help you hey, here hey you know what why don't you put a disclaimer up and save yourself 250 big ones uh 250 000 big ones seriously well and it's something that's so easy to do yeah like it, it is not it a takes big deal. five seconds not a big it deal. takes five seconds Literally, you Literally. have to type it in anyway. Like, you have to fill out both sections when you post a link to your stories and Instagram. You have to put in the link to the product, and then you have to type yep. something out. You're not, like, you could just you type can out add the gif, affiliate add link. Add the gift. Yeah. Or add the gift. Yep. Add affiliate. Affiliate link. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, my That's God. That's all. Is there any That's other it. ones we want to look at? Um, I think that's it. I think that was it. There might be okay. some further down, but I would, I will be, we'll be hyping this guy up. That is for sure, for sure, for sure. Live chat. There's, um, oh, there's, wow. there's, there's another one that's on here oh. showing real coaching results can be false advertising. <gasps> Where's that? So one? before and after. So you got to, um, it's down, it's underneath, it's next to where it says lawsuit says it's impossible to make Velveeta in three and a half minutes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> Emily Baker was covering that one. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, so where is it? 
It's next to that one. It's next to the lawsuit about the Velveeta on the right. On the right. It. Oh, yours is a different. Uh, okay. Yours is a different layout. Uh, uh, go down. Okay. It down. should say. Down. Sorry. Oh, no. Those don't look like Those ours. aren't right. Nope. Oh, I'm looking at his Showing... reels right now. Oh, is there it you go. Room? No, it's in his reel. It should say you should be able to just there you go. Course results. Shirt. This one. Yep. Yeah. He's in a blue shirt. Yep. That Many one. coaches and course instructors don't realize that showcasing the results of one of their clients or students can violate the law, even if those results are real and verified. This is because the law will treat an ad describing one result as though that ad is making a claim about all results, especially in the context of claims about earnings. Let's take two ads as an example. The first ad says this student made $100,000 in his first 30 days. The second ad says every student can expect to make $100,000 in their first 30 days. The FTC would treat both of those ads as saying the same thing. So unless that one student is representative of what the average client can expect to make in the first month, and you have data to support that, the first ad is misleading. <gasps> to make it not misleading requires clear disclosures about what those typical expected results are. And a general disclaimer that testimonials aren't typical or results aren't guaranteed is not enough. <gasps> the FTC is paying more attention to earnings yep. claims in the context of coaching and money-making opportunities. So this issue is more important than ever to get right. That Many coaches and Oh! My God, beach I knew body. You guys, I knew you guys would be like, holy. Carl Deichler, you're in deep bleep. Oh my God. Doo -doo. Even oh the my. disclaimer is not enough. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm shook right now. I'm freaking shocked. Well, and I mean, it's crazy because if you think any of the MLM people that we follow, like no matter what no company one is falling, no matter which company, none of them are following guidelines. No. Oh, I know. Oh I sure, God. I sure wasn't. I uh, know I wasn't. Because, dude, let this guy take down Beachbody. What the heck? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, right. I'm just saying. I he's yeah. New yeah, I We're love him. We're gonna promote the heck out of this guy. I'll tell you that right now. We need now. to start sending him. We need to start sending him stuff. Oh my yes. gosh, we'll tag him on all of our posts. Yeah, he could cover. Yeah. Oh my god, maybe he'll join us for a live. Maybe he would. I don't know. Oh my god, they are in a very deep slurry pit of poop. <laughs> Sam, a, a truer statement has not been said on this live. <laughs> oh awesome. my god. Hey, Shadow. What we just did. We just educated ourselves. Yeah. No. Yep. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my god. So we learned yeah. something new and not by yeah, yeah. But write your sources. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not. It, and again, th there's some things like that are going to be uncomfortable for your brain to process. It it, it, it is that I'm, I'm not. It's not always cognitive dissonance. Sometimes it's like, what do you mean? What I've been doing this whole time has been wrong. What do you mean? Right. You know, I'm open to all of this potential lawsuit because I have not been following the FTC rules. And it's like, oh, you're just a hater. No, 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 so no. The team, no. The team beach body, um, the, the income claim, that's not enough. Nope. It can still be it can still be fraudulent uh, advertising because it's making well, claims. and they don't. And they also put it in super small. Oh, yeah, you can't read it. Text. This is why yep. you, can't you can't read, read it, it at all. Yep. Yep. And, and the thing is, the fact that Beachbody is not shaking in their boots about this, that they're open to this type of uh, getting slapped by the FTC, none of, their, none of their body partners are doing enough. And every time someone does a before and after, that is a potential no-no. Um, so the stock closed at 49 cents today. Yep. We love to hear Holy it. Crap. It was up one cent or not even up one cent. We've so, got yeah, a new snarker so on the panel. Hi, baby girl. She's back. 49 hey, cents. Oh my gosh. Hi. Should I bring, should I bring the, <laughs> the, twin, the twin namer in the, oh, into yeah. the yeah, this is Declan, and Amy also has a Declan. <gasps> Yay, that's True. so cool. No, uh, I did not know that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. both of us are so, babies, our youngest. Why did I just make? I, why did I just now put that t- together? I've heard you both. Wow, that's Carol. awesome. So, so this month, March is high. It was eighty five cents. It closed on March 9th. It is an which ex- that was right after like the champagne gala, right? Yes, and yeah. now it's at forty nine cents. It's oh lost gosh. twenty, almost twenty five percent in the last twenty one days. Holy cow! What's wild too is them saying so. If they're open to this type of potential like litigation for the before and afters, they're also for the income claims people are making in these private Zoom calls because them saying I've made. I mean, Jesse Lee Ward just told us she made sixteen million dollars over five years in Prove It. She just yeah. said it on her live last night. And she's and and it's not even enough for her to say I'm not normal. I work harder than anybody else in network marketing. That's not enough to cover <laughs> her liability for saying that. We have an honorary snark member, Declan. Are you going to be in the snark crew now? Yeah. Do you want to say something? What do you want to say? Sent her that school. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Not yesterday. Oh, not yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to talk or lick it? It's an ASMR lick. channel now. We're just they, breathing into they the... Lick, they lick the stream. Say lick the stream. Lick the stream. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to... Say, say it one more time. I'm going to I'm gonna make that uh, sound on my board. Can you say it one more time? Say lick the stream. Lick the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yay this is awesome i'm gonna make that on my soundboard now oh my god i love it so much <laughs> i love it oh my god well, amy, what'd you find? amy what'd you find so all right so what i have been looking at over and over is the team beach body income disclosure because they have stated in their faqs that they will have it updated by the end of first quarter uh every year oh. so they got they they've got like a day because i think it is going to be fascinating to see what happened last year i'm i'm so interested mm-hmm. i'm so interested it, it still um it still hasn't hasn't updated yet Mm-mm. well that should be our snark topic next week heck yeah <laughs> y'all if you're I have a spreadsheet, yeah. I have a spreadsheet oh we love it this. We love a spreadsheet moment. We absolutely do. Live chat, you've been incredible. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for two hours and 22 minutes. If you have not liked the stream yet, how could you have not after Declan gave us that just the most (laughs) delightful, magical uh, direction to like the stream? I mean... I, I, oh my gosh, we have a hat now. I can't even stand it. I love it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh my gosh. She's here for it. Her YouTube oh stardom. She's adorable. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, we lost sound. Hear. We lost sound, Amber. <laughs> has it really been that long? Wow. Yeah, it's been a whole it long time. It, it's been so good. I've eaten dinner. <gasps> Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats? Oh, my gosh. Bearcats. Love it. <laughs> love that. Oh, my gosh. Is that what her hat says? Yeah, it's uh, Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati Bearcats. oh, my gosh. I love it. It's so cute. Huh. Yep. Oh, Where- it's so cute. <laughs> yep. I didn't see my eye anyway. Huh. Yep. <laughs> I'm actually about to sneak into a Zoom call, so I will I will let everyone go. And I do have a, 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 a neutral overlay, so I'm going to play that as the outro. So at the end, okay. everybody... Uh, who's here can link their channels for their ending uh, cards. So I'm going to do that. Everybody, thanks so much. And we'll awesome. catch you on the next live stream. See ya. Bye. 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 Oops. <laughs>